Yo, what is going on? Twitch.tv slash it here, IVE. It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm pretty guys, the best in Pokemon streaming content in probably the entire world. What is up, A Drive Army? I hope you guys are having an absolutely, positively, phenomenally awesome day today. We are back once again doing our thing. It's actually been. I, I didn't stream yesterday. I mean, that's a rare thing for me to like miss a stream, you know, but it was it was calculated You know, I kind of planned going into it. There was a pretty good chance that I wasn't gonna stream yesterday and things like that So it's all good. It's all good um, Let me just do this so I don't get anyone confused. Uh, it is all good. We are back at you once again very excited to be here uh, for those who don't know our last Stream was actually our incredible charity stream. We raised over $51,000 for those in Texas, which was quite amazing. So, uh, very excited about that and very appreciative of all of you guys. But now we are back to our normal ground and having some fun. So, I, uh, how's the tower? Good, actually. So, it is no longer attached to my desk. And honestly, it's so much better. I still gotta get a stand for it right now. I'm using a nightstand that I had in another room in the house. So it is currently behind the PC, and it is completely out of the way. Um, and I think this is definitely the play. Uh, as much as I liked having it mounted to my computer, I feel like it was causing more issues than worse. So you should have donated your Happy Meals to some children. I actually did donate. Um, that's really interesting that you mentioned that. So North End, just so you know, here, I actually will show you this. Since you think you know so much about what we got going on, I actually have an email right here from the Dorothy Day Hospitality House saying thank you so much for your generous donation. So let me give you a screenshot of that since you seem to think you're just such a wise guy talking about, uh, you know, me needing to donate when I don't know what you're doing. But let me just show you since you want to, you know, come after me and attack me over what I'm doing for my donations. Here's a nice little email of me donating to a homeless shelter and food shelter near me saying, Dear A Drive Media, thank you so much on behalf of the guests and volunteers of the Dorothy Day Hospitality House. Thank you for your generous donation. And that was after me donating cash after I did the Happy Meal situation because I didn't want to waste any food. So why don't you take your ignorant self and leave? Okay. Anywho, let's get back into the stream. So, we, get, we raised a lot of money the other day. That was an incredible, incredible thing. Very excited about that. And uh, I'm excited to do my grind today. We're going to have some fun. We're going to stream. We're going to try to get some shinies and see what happens. So, let's get it. Thank you, Sean, for 27. Jansen, thanks for 17. Sylvain, thanks for the 5. Fizz with 11. And Tales of Julio giving a sub. I'm doing packs every 10 subs, baby. You already know it. So, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's not waste any time. Wham, bam. Get some music going, and we can get it started. You already know we got Solgaleo going on. I mean, that's the thing. 689 coming in hot. Let me get on the internet, and then we're going to go for there. We obviously... I, I don't know what time it is in my game. Let me look. 127. That's nighttime, not morning time, right? Yeah, let me save, and let me change the time on this, and then we'll go from there, and we'll be good to go. So, let's get it. Let's get it. So... What are shenanigans? I mean, shenanigans could be anything, bro. Shenanigans, they're just, they could be anything. You know? You gotta just know that shenanigans could be anything. Alright, so I'm saving and we should be good to go. So, okay, well this guy's an idiot. I'm just gonna ban him. See you later. Goodbye. Thank you so much for wasting our time. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it's as wonderful as you. Like, seriously, guys, if you're still coming after me about the McDonald's thing a month later, then, bro, you really need to get a life. Like, you really need to get a life. Like, it is so apparent and sad that you have nothing going on in your life that that's what you're still bringing up weeks later. Poe, thanks for the five gifted subs. That's a pack of shining fates. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank you so much for that. Let me just change the date and time here, and then we're going to be good to go. We're just going to bump it to four... Yeah, 428 is perfect. So, let's get it going, baby. We got some fun stuff. Let's go. All right. Let's keep it rocking. Thank you again, uh, Kyra. Thank you, Conductor. Paul with the five. Tori coming through. What's good, Tori? How are you? What's up? What's up? Thank you, guys. How's it going? Oh, I'm not even worried about it, bro. People are so dumb. Listen, people are just so dumb, bro. Like, <laughs> it is all good, man. It is all good. So, all right, let's keep it rocking, baby. How you doing today, Tori? We had such a great day Sunday. I did want to try to stream yesterday, guys. I really did. 
But what I decided to do instead was actually pack up all the cards from Japanese jungle. So I know the jungle homies are excited about that. But we got ourselves a hype train already. Let's get it. All aboard. All aboard the hype train. What is going on, everybody? Everybody, get on board the hype train. Let's do it. Did I get the Frost Moth plushie that dropped today? I don't even know there was a Frost Moth plushie. Gonna look real quick. There it is. Add it to cart. It's in my cart now. What about the Snowm? Is that still there? Out of stock. All right. Well, I guess I'm buying. My car is empty. I just add this. Why is their site so garbage? I legit add it to my cart. And then it says there's nothing in my cart. Oh, now it says there's something in my cart. I'm buying the Frost Moth right now. And I know that I am the reason why the price of Frost Moth has gone up lately. And I do apologize for that. All right. I do apologize. I am definitely the cause of all the problems in the world. So feel free to put the blame on me. Okay. Um, trying to get this to work. There's PayPal. That's my shipping address. That's my bank account. That's what we want to do. And I'm going to get that Frost Moth since you just told me to get it. I'm going to get it real quick. And that's my address. How much? They charged me six bucks for shipping. Honestly, it is what it is, right? So it do be like that sometimes, though. Okay. Uh, we should be good to go. Let's do this. I'm going to max Worm Winds. And I'm going to place order. And then I will have my Frost Moth. There you go. Thank you for head giving me the heads up. I missed out on Snow, but I have a custom Snow, so I'm not even worried about it. But I did want to get that one, too. There's a Shinja one. I know about that one. Listen, I have all of those coming. The um, the Sitting Cuties, I have all of those coming. So I ordered them from Japan, actually. So. All right, and Poe throwing down five gifts. This is another pack of Shining Fates. Still chasing bugs, baby. Uh, I got my... Oh, wait, what happened to my... Hold up, what happened here? Give me a second. Did this get messed up? Oh, there we go. I'm like, why is it not working? There we go. Thank you so much, Poe. Amazing G64. What's good, homie? 17, Corden coming through. Tori coming through. What's good, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I got mine from um, like a, someone I ordered from in the past. I ordered from them like a month ago and they still haven't shipped it yet. I'm not sure if I should be concerned or not yet. But I know that they're reliable normally, so I'm not worried just yet. And I paid with PayPal, so like if I have to file a thing, I will. Hey, Joe, thanks for the five. What's good? What's good? Almost had another pack. I got excited. I got excited. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, so I, I bought... Because they didn't release all of them at once in the US, so I bought them through Japan. Which was kind of stupid on my part because... I should have just waited for the US ones, but it's whatever. Um, but all the sitting cuties and the bug types that I have are the Japanese ones. They just have a different tag. I bought all the Japanese ones because I didn't want to wait. So, But now here I am waiting. So I have no idea what's going on with that. But either way, it can learn stomping tantrum now, Harry. What's up, Golden? How's it going? What's up? What's up? How you doing today? Pokemon Trainer Melis, what's good? Hey, A-Drive Army bringing the hype today already. Look at that. Almost a level 3 hype train. Mike, just drop it, bro. Like, we're clearly we're clearly over it, man. Like, just move on. So, what was a good 3DS capture card I would recommend? There's there's one, bro. Google it. Look up Loopy if he still does stuff. Kooky, what's good? Thanks for 16. Great. Great call out, Das Phyllis. Guys, seriously. If you guys don't know, we have pre-orders back up of Battle Styles. If you do not pre-order Battle Styles, my recommendation, get those pre-orders in right now. AdriveTCG.com. Exclamation point TCG use code a drive save yourself some money We also have the VMAX boxes for Venusaur and Blastoise Those are promo cards the only way to get the Venusaur and Blastoise VMAX cards are through this bundle We have them on our website right now as a pre-order Exclamation point TCG use code a drive. There's your rundown. We also have the Urshifu boxes We got all that stuff and I know people have not been super thrilled about our pricing our pricing is actually very fair for this stuff right now it's below eBay's price. And I checked eBay's price last night. eBay has them at like 160 pre-order for booster boxes. We have them down at 134 right now, I think. Yeah, 134. So lower than eBay's prices. Very, very good. Those prices are most likely going to go up when the set comes out. We keep seeing it, right? Get those pre-orders in. So that way you don't feel like you're missing out when the time comes. Let's grab a crawdon. It's the best thing of all time. 
So thank you, David. I appreciate you, man. How you doing? Nayeta, what's good? How you guys? Another pack of Shining Fates. Boom. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Flygon's moveset is very bad. It really is kind of bad, but that's okay. So. Yo, Legend. Thanks for the two gifted subs. My goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, if anyone wants to pre-order the new battle styles, it is up. Exclamation point TCG. Use code ADRIVE. Grab those pre-orders before they are gone. I did see that, debase, and I'm not surprised, man. I'm not surprised. It's so funny. I was actually talking to Soccer Boy Coop. I was looking at PSA's website with Coop, and then the next morning, they raised the prices. I didn't actually send anything in, but I was legit talking to Coop about the prices, and then they raised them the next morning. It was so funny. Not funny, but it is what it is. And I know people are upset about it, and people are complaining, but the reality of it is, like, welcome to, like, welcome to e-commerce, welcome to, like, businesses, man. It happens. It is what it is. Like, that's... Every company will, like, any company that's been around for a long time, if they're very busy, they're going to raise their prices. That's how it works, man. So, um, it's, it stinks. I get it. But complaining about it ain't going to do anything. Either take your cards somewhere else or pay the higher prices or don't get your cards graded. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. I mean, <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but that, that's the truth. So, um, yeah, if they hire more people, they get through pre the process faster. I'm sure they're trying to figure it out. What's up, Kurt Perry? How's it going? 50 seconds left on our hype train. Can we get to level 3? I just got blown back. Um, and you wouldn't want to give Flygon Earthquake in Den Adventures because it would be killing its teammates. Cuddle Luffy, thanks for the gifted sub. What's up, what's up, Cuddle? How are you today? That Tyranitar was very hype, was it not? It was very, very sick. So. I'm all for successful businesses, but they doubled their prices. Again, it's their choice. It's their choice to do what they want to do with their business. It's, it's the consumer's choice to either go for it or not. Hey, Rhino with two gifties, and then Joe dropping ten gifties. That's another pack, and we're almost there. Seven percent to the next level. Hey, Joe dropping ten gifties. Can we get there with ten seconds left to level three? It's gonna be so close. And we are going to end our hype train. Joe with the big bomb to try to save it at the end. Almost does it. Thank you, Joe, for your efforts, man. Love me, hate me with 200 biddies. It's all good, guys. We got a fierce four packs on deck. Two subs away from another one. And we're just getting blown back by this crowd on. My goodness, we are getting destroyed. Whew. I did, Lord. I actually seen a lot of the gameplay of Unite. I'm choosing to not cover it at this moment because I'm afraid of getting... Uh, hit for copyright slash you know leaking footage i have to do a little research before i post any of the stuff i have i have tons and tons of screenshots from unite i had some a drive army members actually message me who have access to the beta um so i have a ton of stuff about it but again i'm a little weary to post because they very clearly said in their in their agreement for the beta not to share the footage and stuff it's one thing if i like share someone else's youtube video but it's another thing if i like share a screenshot i don't know it gets a little tricky i don't want to end up in a situation where I'm breaking some sort of copyright issue. You're allowed to report on news, so it's a little bit different, but if I'm the one who's the source of the leak, I don't want to be the source, right? I don't want to be the source. So, Freeze, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the con words, man. Someone should grab this, bro. I'll take it, actually. Give it to me. So, give it to me. Yeah, KG, that's looking good. That's looking good, KG. Honestly, that's clean, dude. Uh, let's do... What do I want to do? Sand Slash plus Berries, I guess. We have Fire Punch. When is the next day? A 12 days A drive? I have no idea. What am I hearing right now? I think it was just the game making noise. I'm like, what do I hear right now? I hear like this humming. I think it was the game. What's up, Archie? How's it going? <sighs> yeah, KG, I think you can load her up. Let's rock. Let's do it. This is your first time on the stream. Welcome, man. How are you today? What's up, Rooks? What's good? What's good? Hey, I'm very much so excited for the next game. Yes, I'm very excited about the next game. I actually about to drop another video uh, here in a little bit. Uh, I think you guys are going to really dig it. We're going to post this here any second now. And uh, it's going to be sick. Yeah, KG, I love it. I actually quite love it. I quite love it, to be honest. 
Back with platinum? Uh, pl platinum what? We just did a series of Renegade Platinum. I don't anticipate myself playing any Gen 4 until BDSP comes out. Just because, like, why bother kind of thing? But, um... Yeah, it looks good to me, KG. I think everything's good. I'm just gonna check a few little things here and just make sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do Beckett, man. I thought about migrating, and I think I am just gonna do PSA whenever that time comes. That may be as soon as this week. Um, I think what I wanna do is I wanna... I wanna go through my stack of all the cool bug cards I have and stuff that I've gotten. And then I wanna decide which ones I wanna prioritize grade. And then I think I'm gonna pay, like, the higher price. Not the one day, but, like, a higher price to get a bunch of them graded. Like, maybe five to ten of them. Just to try it for the first time. Because I've actually never sent cards in to get graded. So, I think that that's probably the bet, you know? So... Alright, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are seeing our new video just went up. Appreciate that. Definitely worth a watch whether you want to snag it now or hop in after the stream. So, did you see the Battle Styles card list? I got like five chase cards. Dude, welcome to my world right now. So, um, yeah, but getting... I, I don't really like Beckett's labels unless you get the black label. Yo, 20 seconds left on the sub train team. Like, I don't really like it unless you get the black label. So, what's up, special? Welcome to the live stream, man. Dan's a good pal of mine. Rhino, what's good? That's a pack right there. Boom, y'all saved it. Let them know. Let them know. Y'all saved it. Y'all just said, I got this. No problemo. Coming through. So, you have opened 400 bucks for the Shining Fates, and you got the Charizard. Nice. I have not gotten the Charizard yet. So, that's pretty good that you got it. Uh, I have not gotten it yet. And I'm about... How many packs am I in? I'm like 300 packs in, I think. Something like that. I'm a good amount of packs in, so. All right, let's see here. What's this over here? Let's check this message. <laughs> Sounds like I'm due for a Zard. Honestly, like, I do want the Zard, but for me, I think, like, I really want to get the rest of the bug types that I'm chasing. Um, that's, geez, we just lost. We, like, legit lost. We didn't even get to, we didn't even get to Solgaleo. Which is sad, because we have a really good, um, we have really good stuff. But, we have, like, a good team. Didn't even get to him, bro. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. You have to watch in slow motion? Alright, well, Earth, you'll have to just send it to me, man. You can DM it to me. So, alright, let's hop into the next raid here. That was a uh, really rough start, but that's okay. Listen, I'm I'm immune to even feeling anything about Solgali at this point, so it's all good. <laughs> I don't have feelings about it anymore. Notice me? You could just say hi, dude. Like, we could just have a regular conversation, homie. So. Oh, nice, H2O. That's sick, dude. That's sick. Very, very nice. All right, let's do that. What's up, GNR? What's up, Zan? How's it going? What are the balloons for? It was for my birthday from two weeks ago. I don't know how that makes any sense, Prismu, but all right. If that makes you happy. Do you have any plans to play Blazing Emerald? Never even heard of it, so no. What's up, Spun from Germany? How are you today? Z Solitaire. Sol Solitary. Solitary. Thanks for the prime. It's good, man. Thanks for the sub, dude. 51 sub chain, baby. By the way, we uploaded our charity highlights this morning. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. I just uploaded another video as well regarding Legends Arceus. I think it's a pretty sick one talking about different forms. I'm very excited about those. I'm very excited about the potential for what this game could have in store for us. It makes me all excited to think about, dude. Like, I'm just so excited about Legends Arceus. I just, I just am so excited. <laughs> I can't. I can't contain my excitement. It's just so exciting. So. So exciting. Uh, my, at the moment, we're predicting Megas to come back for BDSP. So. I know that full Armani. What's going on with that, dude? I don't know. 
Uh, Dino, I pulled uh, Tyranitar. So that's another thing. I'm probably going to want to... Oh, I can't really do much to him. I guess I just max Flare, right? Like, that's all I can do. Honestly, it's better if someone else Dynamaxes. I'll just place kick. So, yeah, I think what I'm, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I want to make a video. Maybe this week I'll prioritize it. Because now that I just got all the Japanese jungle stuff done, I could probably do it this week. I want to pick, like, maybe 10 cards and submit them to PSA. Um, I just have to, like... I just want to really pick ones that I care about. So Butterfree is one. Shiny Scissors, two, right? So I know two of them. Uh, I'm thinking I may do Espeon. Um, I may do the break cards that I have, Espeon. Uh, the Shining Entei is one. The Tyranitar, maybe. Like, the ones from, um, the Wobbuffet, right? The ones from Neo Discovery. I may do those. Um, I may do those. So, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite decided how I want to do it. So, how do I feel about them increasing their prices? I answer this on, on Twitter, man, because Island, uh, tagged me in it. Listen, they're a business, man, and business has got a business. That's what they're going to do. If their demand is so high that they can't keep up with it, how do you handle that? Well, you either hire a ton of new people or you raise your prices or you just make people angry at making them wait for a long time. I mean, there's a lot of factors here, right? So what they did was they raised their prices. I mean, it is what it is. That's their choice to do, their business. If people choose to not use them anymore, then they won't use them. I mean, what it means is I, I would think that it means the value of PSA cards probably goes up a little bit too because now the cost to acquire a PSA card is, is higher. So maybe the value of the cards goes up a little bit in, in response to that. Um, but... Like I said, that's that's the business, man. It's their right. Just as our right to use a different company if we want to. So, yeah. So, I would probably... Like I said, I'm going to set aside... Like I, like I said, um, I, I won't do, like, the walkthrough. I may do the two-day or the one below that. Whatever. Like, I want to get it back within, like, a couple weeks. It's the longest I want to wait. So, so yeah. That's that's what I'm... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into it and get that all sorted. Maybe I'll do it this week. I'm gonna make a video about it too, like a, a part one and then a part two when the grades come back. I just have to sit down, like I said, and go through all the cards that I have and really decide which ones I want to send in. Eventually, I want to send everything in, but um, there's a really long period of time. I, I'm not paying the high prices for everything. I'll pay the high prices for a few things, you know. So that's kind of my thought process. So, um, someone should definitely take this. I mean, I guess I'll take it to be honest. Thank you again, Cosmic. Thank you, Solitary. What's up, Pablo? How's it going, bro? Uh, well, Zircon, they're going to determine that, I think. I think they determine that. Or you could just go off of market value. So, yeah, they have bulk grading prices. It's not that bad, but it's like eight plus months for that. So, it's just, you have to be mindful that it's a really long wait. Um, I'll grab the Focus Sash. Always a nice one. Hey, nice Symbio. Good luck, man. And just a reminder, guys. Uh, yeah, I put the two most recent Shinies in the in the charity event this morning. Like, I did a, hot, a highlight video KG did. Um, just a reminder, guys. Battle Styles, the new TCG set, comes out in a few weeks. We have pre-orders available right now, guys. You can use my discount code, code ADROP. And just to give you guys an idea, we have them listed at 134 for the pre-order. If I go on eBay and I search Battle Styles Booster Box, eBay, I see right out the gate, I see a bunch of different prices all over the place, right? And don't forget you have my discount code. I see 160, 146. Um, there's a few that'll be pretty darn close if you uh, if you use my discount code. So um, yeah, do it up if you're trying to get uh, Battle Styles. Uh, yeah, I think so, Mike. We held off for a while because we wanted to make sure we were going to have allocations. So we, we will not sell pre-orders if, like, if you order a pre-order, there will be, there will be a box to ship you, right? Because I don't know if you guys dealt with this with Shining Fates, but like 60 or 70% of my Shining Fates pre-orders got canceled through other companies because they didn't get enough boxes in, right? But we know how many boxes of Battle Styles are getting in, so we're, uh, we're going to be doing that, so. Battle Styles looks underwhelming. I actually super disagree, bro. I think Battle Styles is amazing stuff in it. That Empoleon, that T-Tar looks amazing. That Victini, you already know we are chasing down that Rainbow Rare Victini. I want that Cricketune Full Art. Do not hate on that, okay? And then let's not even forget about Octillery and Houndoom Shawnees. They look very clean. So I don't know where you're coming from saying that it's a bad set. I think it's an awesome set personally. But to each their own. Yes, there's no Charizard in it, but there's some good stuff. I'm excited actually. Uh, Tyler, thanks for the five months. What's going on? 
Kid Chachi, what's going on? How are you? What's up, what's up? 19th, comes out on the 19th. What does it say on the website? Oh, he has it pre-order March 15th. Um, I think it officially releases on the 19th, so. And also too, for not just battle styles, the, the VMAX Venusaur, the VMAX Venusaur box and the VMAX Blastoise box, which comes with four packs as well. And you get the VMAX Blastoise and the VMAX Venusaur. There's two different boxes for that. That's the only way at this point to get those cards. You can only get it through that box. It's not in another set. So, thank you, Kid Chachi, for the 11 again, man. Appreciate it. So, it's exciting stuff. Yeah, I wanna, I gotta make sure I grab those because I want that Venusaur and that Blastoise myself. For sure. I'm not sure, Patrick, at this point. I'm just focusing on one thing at a time right now, and right now I'm busy with, with Xenoverse, and then I wanna do Pokemon Snap probably, so. There's a Rainbow Rare Victini in Battle Styles. Yeah, it looks amazing, dude. I'm so excited for that. I'm actually so excited for that. Okay, Clint, we'll then get it in the Netherlands, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. So. What do I do with the extra cards? I have bulk in my in my bathroom right now, dude. I just try to sort it as nice as I can. Um, We could do... I mean, Golurk's probably our best bet. We might lose a heart, though. I'm getting wrecked today, dude. Imagine he remembers me from back then when he didn't even have a hundred viewer average. Well, Dominic, I mean, it's very possible that that's the case, bro. But this is your first comment in my channel, and your account was created April 28th, 2020, and you've been following since June 18th, 2020. So it's really hard for me to remember you from, you know, six years ago when your account was made last year. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, maybe you made a new account, I don't know, but I don't know how I'm supposed to remember you if, you know, your account was made a year ago. So there's that. Just, just saying. Just, just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Spicy Fajitas! What's going on, man? 724. Remember when we thought this was going to be like 100? What's up, PK Sparks Dead Hotness? What's good, what's good? <laughs> it's a new account, but it has a similar name. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. That's a that's a good story you got there, Dominic. Did I see the women tell all last night? I actually did watch the women tell all last night. It was it was meh. You know what I mean? Like this season, I haven't really been into. Um, I haven't. You know what? I I only like half follow it in the first place. I like the in paradise ones because there's just so so much drama and it's just really ridiculous. But yeah, last night I just felt like it was like. Ugh. I don't know. It was just annoying. Yeah, it's so crazy. Like, I feel like this show, they they, they, they make it this whole thing about how they're always, like, um, you know, trying to move forward and, like, be a good influence on society and stuff like that. And then what the, what do they show all season? It's just women bullying each other. Like, they're supposed to be empowering people, right? They're supposed to be empowering women and they're supposed to be empowering, you know, the fact this is the first ever black uh, African-American bachelor, right? And then what do they do? They, they just show drama the entire season. You know what I mean? Like, they're supposed to be better, but they're not better. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Like, I get that they're just trying to make dramatic TV, but like, don't come out here and say that you're trying to do better and then do that. You know what I mean? To me, that doesn't align with what they're saying they're gonna do. So, I don't know, but whatever, whatever. I don't, I mean, I don't take it too seriously. I just kinda, kinda laugh at it, so. I just kind of laugh at it. What am I talking about? If you don't know, you don't know, man. If you don't know, you don't know. So, people be like, Dan, remember that time? Oh my God, I gotta tell you about a story like that. We're getting wrecked today, guys. We can't, we're not even gonna get to Solgaleo. This is two raids in. Lost Wolf, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Very nice of you, Sizzy, thanks for the five months. Okay, I gotta tell you guys a story, all right? I, was that, did I tell you this story? I don't think I did. I was at the grocery store, all right? I was at the grocery store, and I have a mask on, right? Because you got a mask on, I got my coat on, right? I don't think I'm very recognizable. And this guy recognized, I did tell, I think I told this story, I had to have. This was like a few weeks ago. And the guy, this guy <laughs> recognizes me and goes, Dan, is that you? And I'm like, who the heck is this? I have no idea. 
So anyway, it was an employee of the of the uh, the place I was in, the grocery store, and nice guy, right? You know, and and I don't I don't know who he is. I don't know if I went to high school with him. I have no idea. But my man starts hitting me with the questions. He's just like, oh, where do you live now? Oh, what's your what's your what's your wife's name? What's your kid's name? Oh, where's your dad live? How's he? Do I'm like, and he just kept going. He just kept going. He kept asking questions. Finally, I was like, bro, I gotta go, man. I can't. I can't. This is very strange to me. I don't think that he was malicious. I think that he was just looking for conversation, but it was very uncomfortable for me. Just kept asking me questions. But I don't think he knew that I was a content creator. I, I think he just knew of me from before. Like, I think I knew the guy in high school or something. I don't remember. I don't keep track of people. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, listen, Armaldo, you got to swap. We're going to lose, bro. Like, this is over. Like, you got to swap, Armaldo. We have one heart, so just do it. I did not, Stuart, but I did get a uh, light togetic. So, I'm excited about Battle Styles, man. I'm telling you guys. I think Battle Styles is a hype set. I'm excited to open it. And we got those pre-orders for you guys. So, do it up. There you go. Use my discount code, of course. So, nah, I don't think so, Marvin. Like I said, I don't, I don't think that was the case. So, I'm just, yeah, exactly, Cardo. So, I'm like picking out my apples and my dude's just hitting me with like a full-on rundown. I don't know what's going on. So, a little crazy. Crazy stuff. I'm like, man. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to beat this one, guys. I'm going to be real. This is this is pretty unlikely. This is like David vs. Goliath situation here. It's, it's you know. Ten Ryu with five gifties. That's a pack of shotting fates. Let's get it. Yo, thank you, man. Appreciate that. We're about to get it going. We're about to get some packs. I might have to do some packs after this raid either way. Hey, Sir Kixode, good luck on your pulls. See you later, Blaze. Have a nice day. What's up, Modern? See ya. What's up, Jesus? Big fan, big fan. What's up, Schaefer? Thanks for 19. What's up, what's up? Iron Tail. Oh, boy. And we are on 1 HP. <laughs> we are on 1 hit point. That is, that is what we're on. My invisible, not so invisible focus sash. One HP and a dream, and that dream is a shiny Sogalio. It's not gonna happen now. Patson, thank you very much. And we are just five, six away from the next pack as well. I don't know, Scar. I don't know. I love me some shiny splash. Can't wait for it to get back in stock for you guys. And, oh, we're still in it. We're still in it. Remember, Dusclops, you can no longer go for Shadow Sneak because of the terrain. What's up, Gary? Get it, Gary, get it. Like, I love how we have a, a Molga, too. I don't think we're going to get three games next year, no. Hey, you legend, thanks for the five gifted subs. What's going on? What's up, what's up? Thank you so much, you legend. Thank you, you legend. I love the name, because I call people legends all the time, so we out here. All right, listen, we can win this if he doesn't attack me right here. He noble roars into the Dracloak. There's hope yet. There is hope yet, everyone. Can we do it? Shadow Ball comes off. Goler goes for the Max Phantasm. And we actually did it. One heart, one HP in a dream, and we just beat Solgaleo. One of the nice things too, Anthony, about battle styles is just bang for your buck, right? You know, Shining Fates, you pay you pay roughly 10, 15 bucks a pack. In battle styles, you're paying like three or four dollars a pack, right? So you're essentially getting three times the packs for the same amount of price with battles with battle styles, which is nice, right? So, thank you, Earth. I don't drink coffee. All about the G Fuel, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. 69 sub trains, 690 Sogalios. Is this the one right here? Is this the one? Right here, right now. Don't let your dreams be dreams for any longer than they've already been your dreams. Now. 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 Clearly. All right, well... We are just uh, one sub away from another pack. 
I got six packs on deck. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Six packs right here. Let's get it. I've been practicing my Spanish, if you guys didn't know. Let's get it. All right. This camera is all over the place. Let's see if I can get it to not be crazy. Okay. Actually, doesn't look that bad. Give me a sec. Let me get this to look nice. Okay, almost there. Let's go a little higher. Boom! Let him know. Looks good. Gotta let the HUD go. I don't know why it like, automatically does the zoom for me. That's very annoying. Like, don't zoom in, bro. Just chill right here. That's perfect. Okay, I gotta wait for the HUD to go away, but we'll get there. I right, you guys, another pack. Thank you guys for the love. And Tweezy Deck 25 gifties. Holy shenanigans. Tweezy doing it. Hey. That's my favorite dance move. You can tell that I break it down in the club. Tweezy Deck with the 25 gifted subs to the A Drive Army. Who's the I for that? My goodness. My goodness. That is pretty darn epic, if you ask me. And when I say pretty darn epic, I mean really, really cool. Thank you so much, man. Well, I you guys nine packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. And we're almost at... We're almost at another pack. What's my G Fuel code? Code A Drive, bro. Shy Splash is sold out right now, but I'll get you guys with code A Drive in the future. All right, let's get it going. We got we got some stuff going on here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see it. Let's get it going, man. Let's try to get some sick cards. You guys can see on the layout, we're looking for Full Art, Senna Scorch, looking for Frost Moth, and we're looking for Blip Bug. So let's make it happen. Oh, camera looks so good right now. Gossifler, Snowm on a bench. You love to see it. Weasel, first shine of the day, is a Toxtricity. There it is. Look at us doing it. First shiny of the day. You didn't even see it coming, but I did. I did. I saw it coming. Did you? Because I did. Let's get it. Next one. Let's not let our dreams be dreams for any longer. Yes, that's right. We started with a shiny today. I just need my blip bug, though. Like, for real. Can I get my blip bug and my frost moth real quick? Hey, good stuff, Tropical. Good pickup, man. And just a reminder, guys, I, I've mentioned it a few times today, but we've got a bunch of new stuff up for pre-order on Game Capital. You guys can type exclamation point TCG in the chat and use my discount code, code ADRIVE, to receive a discount. We've got Battle Styles base set, or I mean, I'm sorry, Battle Style Booster Boxes, ETBs, as well as the new Venusaur and Blastoise uh, promo kits. So definitely be sure to grab those and if you use my code, you get a few bucks off. So it's a good, good, good bet there, so... All right, we got an energy, Team Yeltel, the Wacky, Tropius, Grookey, Yanma, more Pico, less Pico, Eevee, and Charizard. Shanks. Delmize! <laughs> when you try to call the Charizard and you get a Delmize, that's about right. When you try to call the Charizard and you get a Delmize, what you gonna do? Giant Anchor. We're just three subs away for the next pack, by the way. All right. We got ourselves a little Delmize. I would love to get one of our chase cards today, man. We got an Energy, Eldegoss, Cram, Ball Guy, Trap Pinch, Snome, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx. Yeah! Yeah! No, I had this one, but I'm excited about it! Okay! I had. <laughs> I just went through so many emotions. So many emotions. Did anyone see how many emotions I just went through? There was a lot of emotions there. There was excitement, confusion, excitement again, disappointment, and then excitement. There was there was a lot there was there was a lot going on there in my my tiny peanut-sized brain that's run by hamster wheels. There was a lot going on right now. So I at first thought that this was a, a pull that I wanted, <laughs> and then I recognized that I don't need this right now. Oh my god, Tweezy does it again. That's another pack. But, but, I'll take it because, you know, it's it's a great one. I'm going to keep this one. Let's get it. Um, that's... <laughs> uh, delete the VOD. Delete the VOD. 
Delete the VOD. I'll add that to my, my list of bug chase cards. Even though I already have this one, I, I don't know which one's nicer. I think the first one I pulled was nicer, but that's all right. Dupes are dupes. I got so excited for a second, and then I recognized that I, I already had it. Thank you again, Tweez, uh, Tweezy. Thank you, Constant Doves. Thank you, Luna. So that's the first duplicate bug that we got. That's the first duplicate bug. Luna coming through again. Thank you, Luna, for two before, and then another gifty now for Luna. Thank you. That's our first duplicate bug. So let's see. Let's see if we can not get a duplicate bug and get a, a Frost Moth or a Blip Bug Shiny or the Senna Scorch Full Art because that's what we're looking for. That's not what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's keep it rocking. Thank you guys. Four away from the next pack. You guys are bringing it something fierce today. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate that. What an amount of love. Thank you again, Tweezy, dude. Tweezy's got our number one gift sub spot of the week right out the gates with a fat 30 bomb. 30 bomb. That's very nice. We got a Floatzel, Luxio, Grookey, Eevee, Morpico. I'm really feeling my lighting and the camera angle and everything today. I feel like it's like perfect today. That's a Chewdle, so I got that going for me. I feel like I, I actually, it, it ranges because this arm that I use has some variance to it, but this is, this is a very, very good one. I like it. I like it. All right. Thank you, Andrew Rumps. What's good, Andrew? Welcome back, man. Oh, yeah. That is true. Dragon Frontier, 500 subs. You already know it. Luxio, Jim Trainer, Horsey, Grookey, Morpico, Spinarak, Weasel, Corsola, Shiny. I didn't even know this was in the set. Tweezy with another five, baby. Tweezy's not quitting today. I didn't know this was in the set. This is sick, actually. Galarian Corsola looking sad as ever, dude. Sad as ever. I like him, though. I like him a lot. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. All right. Still going, baby. Hey, thank you, Shields. Enjoy it, man. And they said climate change wasn't real. Explain Galarian Corsola then, huh? Huh? Flat Earthers. We got a Ball Guy, Dartrix, Eldegoss, Buizel, Yanma. Shanks, and we're going to go back to back. Shani with a Rotom into Pokey Kid. We win in today. We are winning today with Pokey Kid. That's a, that's a win right there. Love me some Pokey Kid. I'm trying to channel the uh, Charizard, by the way. The VMAX Charizard with the Charizard sleeves. We take a Pokey Kid. We out here. We out here. Eight away from the next pack, bro. We're throwing down. I got three more on deck here. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I haven't pulled ball guy yet. I pull I'm starting to run to like we're at the point now where like the dupes are happening. I have not pulled I've not pulled ball guy yet, like the the legit one. Let's see what we got here. Feeling fancy. That's a coupon into a thievel. That's the opposite of what I wanted. <sighs> I have not pulled the Charizard. I'm the only on I'm the only content creator who opens Pokemon cards that doesn't have Charizard yet. So that's me. I'm saving it for a pack battle against Dan TM. I'm going to pull it in that one. So I went through, I weighed every pack of Shining Fates that I have. And the one that, when the scale said Charizard on it, I knew that was the one to save. So we got a Shanks, a Horsey, into a Thievul, into a Dreadnaw. So that's garbage. So. Yo, yo, I'm just going to ban you because you're obviously being very annoying. And you've been following for two minutes and you have 52 messages. I'm not sure how that happened. So, bye. Um, how do you have 52 messages in two minutes, bro? Like that, that's something right there. Um, unless you were here before and then said a bunch of things and then unfollowed and now you're back to troll the stream. I don't know. But we're going to get a shiny Charizard right here. No. All right, listen, nothing too crazy. I got the Senna Scorch, uh, but, you know, I already had that, so whatever. Um, otherwise, I pulled... That was actually a pretty bad batch, 12 packs. I got Tox, Delmize, Corsola, Poke Kid, and then the Senna Scorch. Non full art. So that was kind of a meh, honestly. Um, nothing too crazy. So, all right, let's move that out of the way. And let's get back to our grind here. And let's do it. We're going to do Solgaleo number 691. Because why not? And. Yeah, I know. That was an epic Charizard, right? Like, I really did it. I really did the Charizard. So. 
All right, let's pick a code. Do I listen to the in-game music? Nah. Oh, nice, uh, Marvin. I stopped using in-game music a while ago. Why don't I have a pseudo for what? Solgaleo? Where are the packs from? I don't know where they're from. They're from something. I think they're from, they're from tins. My packs are all from tins. Right now. Oh, what was that DMI sent you? Oh, Brassoon, uh, bro, don't worry about it. It was about Xenoverse, but I, I could just ask the question. Maybe you guys know. No spoilers. I was just, Brassoon, there's a crack in the gym, in the wall. I'm trying to get through the crack. Apparently, I need the water starter shoe long. I don't have, I don't have that. So, uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that crack in the wall. Uh, that was what I was asking about. I have no clue. Uh, what's up, Raider? Um, thank you, man. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Just ignore it. All right, well, then I'll just ignore it because I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. What's up, Xander? All right, so we have a lot of options here. Um, I think we want to go left side, so let's do the normal type. What's up, Chris? How's it going, man? Okay, okay, let's go for the grass type, everybody. You thought it was something serious? No. Nope. Nope. Hey, Drive, why don't you just breed? Four head? Five head? What's up, Litton? How you doing, bro? Cheese is disgusting? Yeah. Not at all. Loved my charity stream. Thanks, man. Me too. How dope was that, dude? Shouts to A-Drive Army, man. $51,000 we raised on Sunday. In 10 hours. Like, how crazy is that? That's that's crazy, bro. Like, that's actually on another level. That's actually on another level. That is actually on another level. You gonna need a space shuttle. Or a ladder that's forever. Typical. What's going on, man? I love cheese. Yeah. I mean, there's some cheeses I like more than other cheeses, but I do like cheese. You know? My life depends on this. Do I like carrots? Your life depends on whether or not I like carrots. What's going on with you, bro? Yeah, so Anthony, I do think there's a high chance that you grow an extra limb, yes. My favorite cheese right now, my favorite cheese is Vermont cheddar. Like a sharp cheddar. I love me some cheddar. When I was younger, I used to like uh, Swiss cheese more. But I feel like Swiss cheese kind of smells like feet. So I don't really like Swiss cheese as much anymore. I used to always eat Swiss cheese. And now I kind of like feel like it smells like, like, you know, smells like feet a little bit. It's a little weird. What's up, Undead? How's it going, bro? But I have Pepper Jack as well. Like, in my fridge right now, I have Pepper Jack. I have Mozzarella. I have Four Cheese Blend. Uh, Mexican cheese. I have Vermont Cheddar. I got a lot of cheeses. I have Provolone probably, too, I think. I got a lot of cheese. I like me some, some sharp cheddar. What app is that? Oh, fit, my fitness pal stashed. I also, yo, Secret Tech Cheese, Fontina. Fontina cheese. That's a Secret Tech Cheese. Don't let anyone sleep on the Fontina. It's a very good cheese. Fontina cheese is a very good cheese. I'm new to these streams. Are we allowed to join the raids? Yes. Join on in if you can get in. But just remember, you know, only three people can get in at a time. And there's more than three people here by my estimations. Toxic Waste Cloud, thanks for the 475 biddies. Yeah, I'm really not sure why we went this way, but I guess I guess it'd be like that sometimes, though. I mean, there's a dark type up ahead, so I guess it's okay. I feel like we're going to get wrecked by this little gastronaut. What's up, Zach? Gorgonzola? I don't like Gorgonzola, bro.
You need the DLC to join. When is my next charity event? When it is, man. I don't know yet. Do I dabble in charcuterie boards? I mean, I'm da I will destroy a charcuterie board. Am I going to make it myself? No, but your boy will destroy one if I'm ever at, at some sort of an event or some sort of Rendezvous then I will destroy one of them bad boys. You give me some some crackers some meat and some cheese. I'm going to town I'm going to town. I know right Tori. I legit just did a charity event two days ago And people are already being like hey drop. What's your next charity event, bro? I don't know yet, man. I'm working on it Let me let, let's be excited about what we just did first. Rendez Vu's, baby. I did, Hasnane. I did see that. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm living. Steam engine? No. Which Gastrodon do I like more? In my world, there was only one Gastrodon. All right? I just want to make this crystal clear. It's blue Shellos, best Shellos. That's it. it there's, no, there's, no, there's no pink garbage Shellos shenanigans, all right? We don't even acknowledge the fact... I just hit my camera. We don't even acknowledge the fact that that other dude exists. I think I just messed up my zoom. It's all messed up. Um, yeah, we don't even acknowledge the, the other one because no one cares about it. It, it does have Karen vibes. 100% has Karen vibes. 100%. Yeah. Not about that life. Not about that life. By the way, for those who don't know, March 7th is our next break. It is Call of Legends this weekend. Deathly's coming back, baby, for some Call of Legends shenanigans. And we're going to do some amazing stuff. Yes, Anthony. That's perfect. Uh, a lot of them should be existing commands. Like, that's the nice thing is a lot of them are existing already because we keep doing them. But we're doing Call of Legends on the 7th. And I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys that, that I have internally announced the next break. So the Discord server that does our breaks, they know what the next break is. They know. And I'll tell you what, this is this is a once in a lifetime. I shouldn't say once in a lifetime because it could come again for someone else. This is the only time I probably do this box ever. It'll be our first ever EX series break. I'm going to announce it on, on Twitter later this week because I want to give the internal people just another few days to decide if they want to get in. I always give them the first shot. Um... That's one of the perks of being in the server. But I will tell you guys, if anyone here is interested, because I, I consider the stream homies like like an extension, right? You guys are like the homies. I always go to the stream before I go to Twitter and YouTube and whatever else. You know you know that already, right? I did not say, I, 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 I teased it on Twitter, but I didn't like confirm it. But I am going to do EX Power Keepers, which is an incredible set, dude. It'll be our first ever EX break, uh, which I'm excited about. And it features Gold Star Evolutions, So you have the chance to get Gold Star, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. That's crazy. Because the Gold Star cards are some of the best in the, in, the, in the whole TCG. Not to mention, there's two different Charizards that you can get. A Reverse Hollow and a Hollow Charizard. Uh, where it's looking at the moon. Very, very sick stuff. So if anyone here is interested, I, I will allow you to sign up if you wanted to. Hit me up on Discord if you're interested. Um, I'm going to announce it publicly probably in two days on Twitter. And then, you know, then the floodgates are open, right? And then after the break on Sunday, I anticipate to sell out. Um, so just so you know, if you want to get in on the Power Keepers EX break. And a chance, I mean, dude, imagine that. Getting, imagine getting that. That would be crazy. Imagine getting the Gold Star. Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon. That would be nuts. What a moment that would be. I mean, you would... That, that would be like just the craziest thing. What's up status quo? How you been man? Thank you so much by the way Appreciate you from earlier today um, So there's that. What's up Murtaugh? How's it going? Uh, so the slots for that are gonna be 750 750 a slot which has been pretty pretty similar to some of the more recent breaks um, And I feel like uh, I feel like that's a good one. So let me know. Let me know if you guys are interested Frankenstein 19 in the house. What's good? so yeah, this set has a few cards that are worth in the thousands if you get a PSA 10. So, there's some good stuff in this set. I'm excited about it. And it's an EX box. I mean, they're very, very rare. Uh, I, I actually believe that EX boxes are undervalued right now. I believe that there's a lot of them that are actually undervalued. So, um, and I think this is one of them, to be honest. So, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited. So.
Oh, you were, yeah, you've been calling him Dr. Hody too. My man D. Rody. All right, listen, I think Pangoro is the better bet here, but I think Absol. We're going to get wrecked by Pangoro. I'm just telling you. So I'm going to do Absol. Will my brakes get cheaper on average over time? The price of the brake is based on the box, and also there's a factor of how much I paid for the box, um, for sure. Will they get cheaper over time? Um, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case, right? Like, I, I've actually, I will say that they have been cheaper. My first couple breaks, my first break was $1,500 a pack. My next break was like $1,300, and then I did another one at like the $1,200, and then I did another one at like $1,500. My last couple breaks have been around the $750, $800 mark. Um, but that's also a reflection of the set, too. Um, like I said, I price based on a handful of different factors. It's not always just one one factor um, So will they get cheaper? I would not anticipate my breaks to go under the $500 mark per pack because I'm not gonna break a set At that, you know what I mean? Like I'm probably not gonna break a set like that anytime soon, so Yeah, my lowest price break was the the Japanese jungle at 600 a pack um that was the lowest price break we've done. What's up, Christy? Thanks for 13 months of love. That's fine, Damien. Really don't care. I'll keep banning him. It doesn't matter to me. It's one click for me, guys. People think that they're so special coming in here trying to troll. It's legit one click, and then I never see your name again in my life. Like, it's really NBD. I ain't even stressing. What's up, Two Fit? How's it going? Thank you, Dragon. I appreciate that. I think our breaks are special, man. I think our breaks have a level of community aspect to it. I think our breaks are, uh, they're very special in my opinion. They're very special. So I, I love what we're doing. I think it's a blast. I think the community loves what they're doing. And um, we're just gonna have a good time, man. We're gonna have fun. So, all right, Lorna, and I, I, I need to message on how to do that because I have no idea how to actually do that. Uh, I am not doing WBE right now. There's not going to be any WBE for a while. I run the WBE. I have zero intention of bringing it back right now. So, thank you, Spaghetti. Very proud of what we did for charity this weekend. It was great. A couple more weeks, Jarring. How will the Call of Legends pack this week for those who won the giveaway pack? Uh, I got to email those people, and I got to talk to them about it. So, were you one of the people, Toga? I have the email list. So... I've got to just, yeah, I got to just email you, bro, and uh, I'll send you an email, then we'll talk on Discord about it, and then I'll get you all sorted to be a part of the event. So, yep, I have to just send those emails out, I have no fear. I'll have a little form for you to fill out, things like that. What's up, Shadow Nomi, how's it going? Shadow Nomi giving out a tier two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, Artemis, right? $51,000 raised, how sick was that? You gotta love that, guys. Legit raising 51,000. That's amazing. Uh, you know what, Stash? Uh, yeah, so they were supposed to, but I messaged him about it. And I don't think they ever did it, so I don't know what happened. I gotta actually, I should probably follow up about that. Oh, wonderful friendo. Love it. Yeah, so my death situation is much better than it was, guys. I'm very happy now. I took my PC off my desk. Well, so what I did, I, we talked about this during the charity event. My computer was mounted underneath my desk, and what it was causing was the weight of the PC, because I have a glass case, was actually causing my desk to get crooked. And now that I fixed it, uh, there's a way to reset it. It's not a big deal. But to reset it, I have to take the, 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 mo or the tower off. So I took my computer off the mount underneath and I put it behind my desk on a on a on a little table. And now problem solved. The only downside is like I said my tower is all the way back there, but like honestly I don't need to access my tower throughout the day. I just need to turn it on and turn it off. And I actually only have to turn it on cuz turning it off is through the computer. So the standing desk, yeah, for sure. So I'm very excited about it. Yeah, P-boy, it's going to be sick. 
All right, I don't know if we're going to beat this. We don't have the best team, but we'll see. We're already 0 for 2 today on Solgaleo. I'm going to just reflect, I think. How did my 10-hour stream go? Very well, man. We raised $51,000 for charity, baby. So, this is our third try today, actually. And we're just one sub away from another pack. Yeah, buddy. Throwing down. Uh, exclamation point PC, Mike. Just so you guys know, there are two Blastoise VMAX boxes up, and there are 11 Venusaur boxes up. If you guys go to adrivetcg.com, use code adrive. Seems like the Blastoise one is more popular. So, if anyone wants to do that, uh, they're there. Exclamation point TCG. By form, do you mean a contract? I mean, there is some contractual stipulations in there, but... It's basically, I just need your name and address and stuff. So, yes, you'll have to fill out a form. And if you just wait for my email, I'll give you all the details, man. So. Simple beam strats. Yeah, so if anyone wants the Venusaur, or the Blastoise ones, like I said, there's two Blastoise boxes left right now. Um, and then there's 11 Venusaurs. They may get restocked at a future time, full disclosure. I don't know when they'll get restocked, but if they do get restocked, it'll probably be at a higher price. Just so you know. Um, Purple Ghost, thanks for the 11 months of love. What's up, Ghost? Thank you so much. Hey, Kyra, good plays, good plays. What's up, Wolf? And we also have Battle Styles pre-orders, too, the other stuff. So, thank you, Ultimate. Are you guys a pack? Boom. There it is. There it is. Any clauses in the next break? Call of Legends, there's no clauses. Uh, power keepers, there are some clauses, but they're actually very much in favor of everyone, not me. There, it's, it's like, I made it so, so fair, dude. The clauses are so fair. So there's no clause for Call of Legends, but there is a clause for power keepers. The power keepers clause is basically, it's something very sim simple. It's if you pull Hollow or Moldo, then you get half your money back and you get a new pack and I get to keep your pack. However, if you pull Hollow or Moldo and Reverse Hollow Charizard, you keep the Charizard. So I don't steal anyone's Charizard. And then the other clause is Reverse Hollow or Moldo. If you pull Reverse Hollow or Moldo, you keep your entire pack. I keep the Armoldo, and you get 250 bucks. Now, a reminder that Armoldo is only worth like $25 in perfect condition. So more than fair <laughs> absolutely more than fair um i i don't think anyone's gonna be upset about it it's it's absolutely more than fair so however it seems fair what do you mean it seems fair i have to have you fill out a form so i can have your information to ship things to you i'm very confused you just have to fill out a form bro everyone who joins my break has to fill out the form i just need your information bro that's all i'll give it i'll send you an email Blastoise sold out now. Did you guys snag all those Blastoises? I told you they'd sell out, man. There's some Venusaurs left, it looks like. Yeah, just Venusaurs left. Blastoise sold out, it looks like. You guys got it. Thank you, Squawk, for the 100 bitties. All right, first Solgaleo of the day, because the other two, we failed the raid, so. We actually get to see if this one's shiny. Oh, no, we didn't fail the last one, actually. Just kidding. I don't know why. I, I thought we failed it, but we actually got it, so. All right, let's see. Second one of the day. And... No. This is ridiculous. Like, at what point is it ridiculous? You know what I mean? At what point is it just like this doesn't... At what point is this just like it doesn't exist? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna go to 700 today? I think we'll get close if we don't get it. We'll get close. Um, I'll grab 
grab Porygon. Alright. Uh, the shy chance is 1 in 100 every time. It's always the same. Why isn't Shine Splash in stock? Because it's the best flavor and it's sold out. Am I sure it's not Shiny Locked? Well, considering other people have it, I'm sure it's not Shiny Locked. About 40 seconds left on our sub train team. I got a stun fisk at the charity event. go for the max darkness here thank you mad dog for five that's another pack right there shining fades boom thank you very much mad dog thank you rhino for the five gifties what's up what's up when did I get the shiny sunfisk I got it on Sunday during the charity event Hey, what's up, Zinomax? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Big damage from Porygon there. The legendary Porygami. <laughs> what a sick name. Porygami. Max Darkness. What's up, P94? How do you get G Fuel? You buy it from the G Fuel website. But my flavor sold out right now, so. The struggle. At what point do I give up? I don't really plan on giving up, man. So thank you so much, Rhino. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. And thank you for the gift subs. Time frame, hopefully by the end of the month. Yeah, I would say by the end of the month is a solid bet. The best flavor is sold out, man. What you gonna do? Like it happens. When the best flavor do be sold out though. Someone should grab this, maybe Glalie. Do I miss hatching eggs? That is the funniest question I think I've ever seen. Do I miss hatching eggs? Let me tell you that I will never miss hatching eggs. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Thank you, silly Sarah. I will never miss hatching eggs. What's up, Zero Delta? What's going on? Thanks for two months. <laughs> I will never miss it. With hatching eggs, you can use the Japanese Ditto and it's easier. I know what the Masuda method is, but uh, you can't Masuda method a legendary, so. Okay, Toga, that's good. You have a top of shine splash, but you don't want to open it because if you rip the top, it destroys your logo. Uh, yeah, more or less. It, it cuts off the logo from the name. But if you, if you open it the right way, you could open it and keep it so the wrap stays on the top. Use the tip, use your thumbnail and go around the perforated edge and, 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 or take scissors or whatever. And you can, you don't have to like 
rip the label off. You can go around the perforated edge and then just spin the top and it stays on there. That's how I open all the G Fuel. What's up, Sad Cappuccino? Thanks for the love. What's going on? Y'all see that people who got Shiny Splash on eBay for seven times the price, man? It's definitely my fault. <laughs> people out here reselling Shiny Splash, that's it. I know, I know, I needed to restock too, guys. Trust me. I wanted to restock too. I don't know when it's gonna restock. A couple weeks, probably. It takes a long time. The good news is, once it restocks, it'll be in stock for at least a few more months, hopefully. But it's a good thing that we sold out, right? I mean, that's a good thing. I don't know why I foul play. I got ice cream. It's a good thing that we sold out, so. Hey, B. Halverson with five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Halverson. Very nice of you. Your first ever five gifties. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the stream and the dream right there. You'll be grabbing like 10. Oh, wow. If we can sell out again, guys, I think, I think, no, this is our first time selling out. If we sell out again, though, I do think there's a chance that we can get a can. Like, I, I'm being real. Like, I don't know for sure, but if we can sell out two times. That's gotta be, that's, you know, cause what was the last time you saw a flavor sell out from G Fuel? That like a newer flavor, like that doesn't happen that often. I really think that Shiny Splash is the best flavor. So, I'm excited about it. I hope we can restock soon and then we'll see what happens. Hey, Righty's here. What's good, Righty? How are you, man? Uh, someone could grab that. Probably Toxtricity or Whimsicott. All right, let's set up this lamp in and berries. Am I playing two games at once? I am. Zero Delta, thank you so much. Thank you for the gifted sub. And we're just one away from another pack, team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know they got cans. I don't know about tubs, RPG. Congratulations, Wolf. Hey, thank you so much, B5. Appreciate it, man. That was foul play. I'm good, Chief. I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing right now, man. I'm very happy with what I'm doing. Double Marowak is a sign. It's a sign of what? Have we got two Marowaks? What's that a sign of? I don't know what. How late am I? You're an hour and 20 minutes late, but a wizard arrives precisely when they intend, you know? Army average five thousand dollars an hour to help Texas. Amazing stuff. Thanks for putting it together. Yo, thank you, Flutie, for the thousand biddies. Thank you, man. How's my fitness training starting? Uh, well, growing. I mean, I've worked out every day this year so far, except for today. But that's because I haven't, you know, I haven't worked out yet. But I will. I'm glad to hear that. Know me. Like, I'm really glad that people love it because I we worked really hard on it, and I'm so excited about it. So. Um, so do we the the Pikachu one we have, but I think we will have the other ones. Yeah so I made diamond push-ups can I do I don't I've never tried really. 
But I'm glad that you guys like Shiny Splash. I really think it's it's the best flavor too. So that's exciting. I'm excited about it. Wibbly it looks amazing. Yeah. What's up, Darkness? It's sold out right now, Kevy. You just gotta wait. We're gonna restock soon. Not yet, Noisy. I think Toxtricity takes this, obviously. Floraminator, thanks for six months. It's another pack of Shining Fates. Boom. There it is. I got three packs of Shining Fates on deck. What flavor do I like least? Spicy Demonator is my least favorite flavor. I pretty much could drink any G Fuel flavor and be okay, except for Spicy Demonade. I can't drink that flavor at all. What do you do to make your G Fuel less powdery? Uh, use less powder or more water. <laughs> Shake it more. <laughs> oh, man. Was it spicy? Yeah, I don't want a spicy beverage. Restaurant, thanks for 24. What's good? Six left. Hey, Litton, you're good, though. You're good for a while. you sneeze i feel like that's definitely what it does yo jp thank you for the 10 gifted subs my goodness man i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you what's up what's up what's up dino thank you again man thank you jp for the big 10 gifties we've got a serious gift sub leaderboards today man you guys aren't messing around What's up, Chris Gaines? How's it going? Hey, what's up, Lily? What'd you think of it? What are the odds for a shiny? Uh, one in 100. Each Pokemon we catch with the shine charm is a one in 100 chance. In with 10 gifted subs to the A-Drive Army. Thank you so much, man. My goodness. We have almost a 200 sub train. And we beat Solgaleo. Thank you, Maxi. We beat the Solgaleo. Oh, yeah. That's a crazy video, Be fine. That is a crazy video. This is it, you think so? 692 is the legendary shiny Solgaleo. After all this time, this is the one. Let's see it. Double Marowak into Lamp into No Galio, as you'd expect. How long has this lasted? Over three months. We are in... This This hunt started when the month was November. It's March now. So, that's a thing. November, December, January, February, March. That's a thing. That's a thing. That is a thing. There we 
go. Uh, oh god, these are terrible. What's up, Markinator34? Months of love. Random people noisy, people in the stream. <laughs> Yo, guys, I gotta show you this. So I just posted my new video, and I'm getting some hate comments, you know what I mean? I always try to be mindful of this stuff, and I realize, okay, maybe I maybe I missed a little bit on the, on the title and thumbnail, so we're just tweaking some things, right, so people don't get mad at me. So I said to KG, I was like, Yo, KG, can you just add... Can you just tweet the thumbnail real quick for me and just put rumor on it just so people stop complaining because you know everyone gets mad over YouTube videos nowadays. So like I said, I respect it. Anyway, so this is the thumbnail he sends me guys. Here is our updated thumbnail. So now I don't think anyone can complain about the video guys. I think we're actually good this time. How does everyone feel about this? Is there any concerns over this video or you think we're good? You think we're good? I think that's actually really solid. So... Uh, you're good to load it up, KG. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, we're changing the thumbnail, and I already changed the title so people don't get mad at me. Um, we'll put rumor on there so no one gets mad. Um, it's all good. But yeah, I made I made it nice and big for the people in the back, you know? So. <laughs> Why do people complain about the thumbnail so much? Um, well... People complain because, I don't know, they just have nothing better to do with their life. But, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to be deceptive. I realize that the uh, this one maybe was a little deceptive. I actually didn't mean to, uh, genuinely. If I if I did, I wouldn't change the title and thumbnail, obviously. But I'm going to change it. So, it's all good. We're changing it. No big deal. We add in the rumor. We add in the rumor. It's all good. It is all good. It is all good. Mets game's on today? Yeah, I, I'm streaming. Yeah, that, I like that one, KG. I like that one most. That was perfect. Thank you, KG. What's up, Death Panda? How's it going? What's going on? Death Panda in the house, baby. It's good, bro. And we're six away from the next pack. Thank you guys for the love. Yeah, well, it's okay, look. I'll, I'll throw the tag rumor on there, and then people won't complain as much, hopefully. It is what it is. Not a big deal, dude. I ain't even stressing. There you go. Now it says rumor on it. Ain't nobody gonna get mad at me now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Not right now, Zang gets you. Packs am I gonna open? I've got five right now on the side. So we're gonna do five to start. Why not, Mart? I think they look cooler than Pokeballs, bro. Get some berries, and then we're gonna battle Fracture. What's up, Vegeta? Thanks for a year of love. What's good, man? Thank you so much. Thank you for a year. 12 months. Approximately a year. Just on some quick math. Let's do some quick math calculations. What's up, girls? Um, I 
I'm going to go for the low sweep. If I manage to get three full odd shinies before I get Solgaleo, that's going to just be crazy. Like, <laughs> that is going to be wild, man. It's actually going to be wild. Have ever shiny hunted in the Mystery Dungeon remake? No. Nope. Light Veil, thanks for nine months of love. Which new Pokemon game am I interested in? All of them. One thing at a time. All of them. Every single one of them. Is this really full odds? Well, the Heart Cold Soul Silver game is, yes. What do you mean, is it really full odds? That's how it was back in the day. It's not like I had a choice. There's only one shiny hunting in this game. <laughs> What's up, Spiffy? Thanks for the five months. I'm very excited for Snap. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for Snap. <laughs> I love that ad. It's amazing, P90. Yeah, I mean, if you get if you get a full lot shiny, it's a hype. If it's a hype thing. What's up, Amy? How are you today? Each Pokemon is a 1 in 100 chance, Ned. Uh, let's do Flareon and we're good. Flareon. Flareon. Um. Yeah, Focus Sash is good. I don't think so, Orin. No. We don't, am I excited for Arceus or Diamond and Pearl? Arceus more, but um, I'm excited for both, to be honest. You're new? What's up, man? I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. What's a Pokemon that I didn't wish exist or I wish didn't exist? Uh, well, it was really nice to see that Pokemon sold the rights to Luminion to the Digimon franchise. So, Luminion's gone. Which is really good. Like I said, I didn't really like that Pokemon, so it's nice that they sold it off. Um, other than that, I mean, if this thing goes for Burning Jealousy, make sure we don't raise any stats in this battle, please, guys. He just burns all of us. Did they really do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sold the rights to Luminion to Digimon, and Digimon was really excited about it. So they have the lowest of low-tier Pokemon, but now it's a Digimon, so... Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. DMCA. I did, Anthony, I did. You actually like Luminion? That's a lie. That is a lie. It's confirmed. No one actually likes Luminion, okay? If I didn't just bring it up, you didn't know what it was. Let's be real here. You just pre-order battle styles very nice that's a good reminder for everybody for those of you guys who are looking for the new set battle styles coming out in a few weeks get those pre-orders in exclamation point tcg we have some in stock and you can use code a drive for the pre-orders we have we don't have them in stock we have them listed for the pre-orders shiny fades etbs just got updated as well Doo doo. 
do 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 All right, uh, someone can grab this. I'm probably gonna skip it. Probably Nico. I don't know how Fudge just goes and says, yes, I'm gonna keep my fracture. Okay. Am I the only one bothered that it's Soul Galio and not Soul Galileo? No one cares. Thanks for the cheer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You have egg scissor? That's not even super effective. Don't come in here and tell me you got egg scissor on your fracture and act like that's a thing. Oh, because it's not a thing. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, but after 693 raids, no one cares. Um. Don't come in here with your egg scissor fracture and act like that's a thing, bro. Okay? All right. Let's not. Let's not pretend like that's a thing, because it's not a thing. Baseball is on? Yeah, I know, and I have a job. <laughs> Can't just sit around watching baseball all day, all right? I gotta work, homie. I got a two and a half year old who eats bananas like it's her job too. Bananas ain't cheap. They actually are very economical. Bananas are very economical. I'm, I'm actually going to make an assumption that bananas are subsidized by our government because they are very cost effective. Captain Snacks, thanks for 13 months of love. Oh, we lost our sub train. Well, that's a bummer. Thank you guys for the love either way. We had like a hundred and something sub train, but uh, appreciate it. You play baseball and it's really boring? Well, okay, Dan, you're really boring. Baseball is my favorite sport, don't hate. Oh, fr Fracture, thank you so much for egg scissoring. It was really helpful of you. Thank you. <laughs> Burn him. Love me some baseball. And dead. Well, there goes my hit mode leak. How many scoops? What, what kind of question is that, Kraken? That's, that's kind of a, a not a good question, bro. All I'm gonna say about that is two G fuels a day puts you at 300 milligrams of caffeine a day. The FDA recommends an adult has up to a maximum of 400 milligrams of caffeine is a safe amount of caffeine. That's two and a half, a, a little less than two and a half G fuels. So two G fuels a day. If you have two G fuels a day, you are under the uh, recommended like high end. So. Okay, listen, Los Pollos Stepsister. First of all, no one cares about you. Second of all, you come to my stream and say I'm a scalper and I'm lame. I'm not a scalper, but you know what's lame? You spending your afternoon coming in my stream to say something about me that you have nothing, no clue what you're talking about. You're calling me lame while I'm out here living my dream, living my best life, and what are you doing? Bringing other people down. You're pathetic. Grow up. Seriously. Pathetic. I genuinely feel bad for you. That's how you're spending your afternoon. Jeez. See you later. <sighs> Wild. I think we're gonna lose this raid. Ah, oh, Fracture, there you are again! Holding it down for us. Johnny Master Nick. What's going on, man? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shawnee Master Nick. And we lost the raid. Shawnee Master Nick throwing down with their three months in advance. Oh my god, what happened, Fender? I hope you're doing all right. Why did Gold Duck and 
Psyduck changed their names. Let's get the next one, I guess. Someone should make a compilation of moments like this where A-Drop bullies people. I right, listen, I'm not bullying anybody, okay? I'm simply responding to people coming after me. That's not me bullying them, okay? Listen, if you dish it out, you better be willing to take it back. Otherwise, you shouldn't be dishing it out. It's very simple, all right? I'm sorry, but that's the law of equivalent exchange. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but I just made that up. Listen, if you come in here and you say some stupid nonsense, you better be ready to get it back. And if you can't handle it back, then you better not talk. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. I'm sorry that I'm not going to just give everyone hugs and coddle you like your mommy does. I'm not your mommy. I'm not your daddy either, okay? I'm not here to babysit. Keep it together, people. Thank you so much, Wolf. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right, what do we got here? We got a Haunter, and we got a Lampin. I think we'll do that. We'll go Haunter, Lampin. We have a pretty good team, actually. Actually, let's just go the easiest way possible, team. Because, like, we have a good enough team here. We don't even need to do anything different. Um, Let's set up normal, and then we'll just go from there. But let's go the easiest way. <laughs> Rich. A drop is a New Englander and a Mets fan. <laughs> I've endured years and years of torture as a Mets fan, okay? Listen. Max Flore. Pew pew pew. You're not a Mariners fan? Well, you guys had Ichiro. Like, that's a thing, right? And the King and stuff. Thank you, Ricardo. Very proud of what we did over the weekend, guys. We raised over 10, uh, 50,000. 50,000. $51,000 for charity in 10 hours on Sunday. That was very epic. I was super excited about that. Well, Daniel, it's a 1 in 100 chance to get a specific Pokemon. It's a 1 in 25 chance if you catch all four Pokemon in the raid. So. Ah, uh, good old Edgar Martinez. Oh no, Marowak! Oh, he eats, uh... That's breakfast. About a minute left on our sub train, guys. I got five packs on deck. We'll do probably an opening after this next raid, I guess. You're watching my Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke? That was a great series, actually. That was a great series. Yo, that's not how statistics work. You get four chances at one in a hundred, but it's not that simple as four times one in a hundred equals one in 25. Bro, listen, I know how statistics work, and when you actually do the math, it comes out to more or less 1 in 25 when you round down, bro. It's very close to the same thing. Four 1 in 100 chances isn't exactly 1 in 25, but it's darn close. So for all intents and purposes, we can call it 1 in 25, and it's not going to change anyone's life. How does it come? He went... Uh, that's just what we decided on, Apex. So... What's up, Joe Morgan? How's it going? Hey, Miller, I'm glad that. Yeah, 3.94%. It's very, it's like more or less the same thing. Again, if you're really arguing over that, it's like, really? That's what we're arguing over? I don't know, boss. I'm not sure. I, f I really feel like people just argue over anything on the internet just to, just to say stuff. Like... Someone hear me yell into the void! Please, someone acknowledge me yelling. 
Taylor, thanks for the gifted sub. <laughs> am I wrong, though? Like, am I wrong? You know? Well, A Drive, I just want to let you know that it's not 1 in 25. It's actually uh, 3.94, which is approximately 1 in 25. Ba <laughs> Bach Band, thanks for the 20 months of love. What's up, man? Pecky Penguin, thanks for the four. I'm in a mood today, clearly. That day off didn't do me any favors, did it? <laughs> oh, man. Am I going to play Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl? Both. What's up, Max? Thoughts on Pokemon Legends Arceus? If only I had like 12 videos in the last three days about it. Um, no, I'm actually really excited about Legends Arceus. It's still a long ways away, but um, I'm really excited about the potential for the future of the franchise, and I just can't wait to see what they're gonna do with it. What's up, Ning? Thank you for the five months of love. What's going on? I, I don't know, Adri. I have no idea. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's possible, I don't know. Big brain just bought both exactly. Uh, we have not restocked our flavor, it's still out of stock. Haunter has levitate, yes, Gengar does not, has cursed body. Will I be shining hunting and brilliant diamond and shining pearl? Nope, I quit shining hunting actually. You didn't catch the memo? I know, how could you hate on it, dude? That's like the dumbest thing in my opinion. Like I've been seeing some some other people, some content creators hating on Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. How could you hate it? We haven't even played it yet. Like it's a year away. How are you gonna sit there and hate it? We know nothing about it. <laughs> Anything for them clicks though, huh, Wolf Boy? Almost know nothing. What's going on with me and Blaine's? Absolutely nothing's going on. That guy is completely irrelevant. I don't care about him at all, nor do I care about what he says. There's nothing going on. He just yells into the void and I ignore it. That's what happens. I'm very excited about it though. I think um, I think that Legends Arceus has a lot of potential to be amazing. I am, I am looking at Legends Arceus as like a stepping stone though for them for generation nine. Um, but ultimately I do think that there's a lot of potential. So what's up Andy six. Thanks for 13 Jamel with two years, baby. Thank you so much. I'm excited for unite too. I'm excited for unite as well. Um, honestly, what's the easiest thing for us to beat here? Let's just do that. I love how there's two trainer, uh, two held item people in front of the same den. That's actually hilarious. But listen guys, we do have a rule on our stream, man. We try not to talk about other content creators. If another content creator, you know, starts talking junk about me, I don't want to hear about it. I honestly don't care. I am in my own lane. I am in my own world. I am doing my thing, feeling amazing on top of the world. I've worked out every day this year. I've lost 23 pounds. I feel great. We're creating the best content we created. I don't need that negativity in my life. So if Joe Schmo YouTuber says a drive sucks, let him say I suck. I don't care. You're a smart person. You can make your own decision. If you like me, great. If you don't, well, there's plenty of people out there to watch. It's really that simple, guys. I'm not. I'm not here to get into drama with other people, man. I don't really care. I'm an adult. I'm. A, I'm a parent. I got other things to worry about. I don't need to get caught up in some nonsense because people are just being dramatic because they ain't got nothing else to do with their lives. Let them do it. Have fun. Is what it is. Thank you, Koopa, for the five. That's a pack right there. A shining fates. Boom. Big damage there from Bisharp. 
I'm focused on Xenoverse right now, Stash. And big Berserker. With the Steel Spike. Big damage. You always tell how it is. I don't have anything to sugarcoat, man. What's up, Sleepy? Hey, Optimus, thank you so much for that message, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, I, I honestly, like, this year... I'll tell you guys, like, I've been very transparent about it. Thank you, Psychotic. I've been very transparent about it, man. I started seeing a therapist, and I started focusing on my physical and my mental health. And I honestly feel amazing, dude. I feel amazing. Like, I'm putting in the work on my physical health, on my mental health, and... I'm just not gonna let people who don't know me tell me how to feel. Like, I'm just over it. I'm done with it. I'm moving on. I'm focused on my grind and what I'm doing. And the people that like what I do, I'm here for you, man. The people who don't like what I do, that's okay. Just just go do something else. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's really that simple. So, that's it. And that's my advice for you guys too. Like, just try to focus on the positive, not the negative, man. I, I spend way too many times in my career focusing on the negative. And I'm just, I'm done with it, bro. I got too much going in my life that's a positive that I can be thankful for. Even the basic stuff, man. The basic stuff that I have a happy and healthy daughter. Like, that at, is at the very top of my list of things to just be very, very happy for. Why am I going to care about some random person on the internet saying that I suck? Like, I don't care about that. You know? Like, I... <laughs> Do you ever feel some type of way when other creators try to bash you? It makes me sad, dude. It really makes me sad because I feel like if another creator took the time to actually talk to me privately and have a conversation with me, then maybe we can get to a point where we can come to an agreement to just let it be. But people think that it's a productive thing to come out and just try to publicly bash people. Um, but if you guys follow me, I don't ever respond to it anymore. Um, I've had, I would say in the last few months, I've had, I've had at least a dozen hate videos made about me and I don't ever respond to them. I don't even watch them. I only know about them because people send them to me. Don't send them to me. I don't want to see them. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't acknowledge them because I don't want to give the, the haters the attention. You know what I mean? Like, why am I going to give them the attention? That's what they want. They're just trying to get clicks and views out of, out of me. They throw my face on their thumbnail and they hope that people are going to watch and they try to bring me down and whatever else. And guess who's still here? Guess who's still standing? Guess who shows up every single day and puts in the grind? This guy. You know what I mean? So like. Why am I going to bother? Like, why am I going to give them any more attention that they already have? And I know we're talking about it right now in a general sense, right? Like, I get that. So don't be like, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to acknowledge them individually because they're not worth my time. Thank you, Rob, for the two months. Tranquil Chimeco. Love that name. Chimeco was one of my favorite mons back in the day, going all the way back to, like, the original Gen 3. I love that little guy. So... Best part of being a Twitch partner and affiliate? I would. There was no affiliate when I started. Um, best part about being a Twitch partner? Um, I don't know. I mean, I get to do this every day, which is great. So that's it. See you later, someone. What's up, Chase? How's it going, bro? All right, let's catch this bad boy right here and make it happen. Uh, Battle Frontier is not confirmed, but we can expect it to come back. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, Torres. Congratulations, man. Good stuff, bro. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs on deck, team. And we're going to throw down with seven packs here in a moment. Of Shining Face, try to get one of our little bug chase cards, baby. And will this be the Shiny 694? No. 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 Alrighty. Let's, uh, whatchamacallit? Let's do some packs. Let's see if my camera's all messed up. I accidentally hit it earlier, so it might be a little messed up, but I think we can make it work. Just get a test card here. Get an 
Now it's all messed up, dude. It was so good before, too. It makes me sad. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that zoom thing where it, like, goes back out of zoom. I don't know what, what causes that. Like, why does the zoom get messed up? I don't know. I gotta look into that. I don't know enough about cameras. I'm not, like, uh, super knowledgeable. Oh, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. My goodness, that's a hundred gifties for Poe. Poe is written with a hundred gifted subs on the channel. Throwing down another five. What's up, Steve? How are you, man? What's good? What's good, dude? What's up, Shadow Boy? How you doing today? What's up, man? Am I doing a pack battle now? We're just opening packs right now. Two away from another pack team. Let's see what we got, guys. Uh, earlier, we had decent luck. Still looking for Scent of Scorch and Blip Bug and Frost Moth. So let's see if we can get one of those. What's up, Yeti? How's it going, man? It's been a bit. Wait, I didn't even hit the camera. Why did the thing come back up? I'm very confused. I know there's a plus sign, guys. It's the HUD. It goes away. There we go. All right, we got an Energy, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Cramorant, Grookey, Eevee, Morpico, Choodle, Nicket, Team Yeltel, and Feeble. Oh yeah, big start, big start. I know you guys are very excited about that pack and you're like, how does he get that kind of luck in a pack? And I, listen, I don't wanna tell everyone my secrets here. I know I've got a lot of luck, um, as you can see. But, uh, you know, we started off with that big pack. So let's, let's see if I can get, uh, you know, a measly Charizard here or something. We got a Dartrix, a Rotom, Spinarak, Snowm on a Bench, Grookey, Eevee, Morpico, Rowlet, Big Hits, and Yan Mega. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Great pulls here. Thank you, Sandy. How are you? Thanks for the 13 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just a reminder, guys, we have the new TCG coming out, Battle Styles, available for pre-order once again. Don't miss out on these pre-orders. Go to exclamation point TCG. Use code ADRIVE. We also have the set I'm opening right now, Shining Fates. But grab those Venusaur Blastoise boxes or booster boxes of uh, Battle Styles. Definitely take advantage of it while we have the pre-orders up. So that way you don't get caught trying to find the set when it comes out. There's a Toxel to go with our Toxtricity. We actually just pulled Toxtricity earlier today. And now we get a little Toxel. So how about that? That's great to hear, Sandy. I'm so happy for you. There's a little Toxel right there. It's got Slap. Slap and Static Shock. Wait, who remembers the show Static Shock? The dude who flew on the trash can lid? Shoutouts to Static Shock right there. Boom, it's right there. Confirmed. Didn't he fly on like a trash can lid? Like an electric trash can lid. It was technically a metal disc. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Trash can lid slash metal disc, more or less, right? Anyway, we got an energy, <laughs> a Luxio, Floatzel, Dartrix. That's like a kid's walking around with a big stick, walking around, and the mom says, what are you doing with that stick? And he goes, mom, that's my lightsaber, right? You know what I mean? It's like Static Shock's got his trash can lid. We got a Choodle, we got an Eevee, and big hit, Manaphy into Dreadnought. We're one sub away from the next pack, team. <laughs> How many shining facts paint how many shining fates packs do I have a few I don't tell anyone how many shining fates packs I have right now because I don't want to get canceled again on the internet so I just haven't been telling people <laughs> we got an energy we got a float soul tropius ball guy spinarak snow on a bench Grookey, Eevee Morpico so we yo one of the best that we can get we got a Suicune. This is my second shiny Suicune, but one of the best baby shinies we can get. Rhino throws down for another pack. Thank you, Rhino. This is one of the best ones. This is one of the best ones. So, I'm going to post a Night Reaper, I think, after the stream. So That's a good one, dude. Suicune, baby. Suicune. Suicune. Gotta love that. What do you mean by baby shiny? Well, that's a baby shiny versus a full art shiny. Just DM'd you? Oh, you did. We got an energy, a tropius, 
Rotom, Cramorant, more Pico, less Pico, Nickit, Grookey, Yanma, Kyogre, amazing rare into garbage. We got an amazing rare Kyogre. Very nice. That's pretty amazing. What do you guys think about it? You guys think that's amazing? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. It's so pretty. Amazing rare Kyogre. And last pack right here, guys. Last pack for now. Oh, yeah, Sandy. The uh, Xenoverse, right? Scaleon. And we've got a Fuego Energy. A motor. An otter with a buoy around it. A sword. A little otter with a buoy around it. A ball of purple gas stuff. A little lion. A little monkey that likes to bang on things. The heck is this thing? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Shoddy Dragapult. Let's get it, dude. Into the Charizard? Into Celebi. You can't get Charizard next. There's a Dragapult, Shoddy. That's kind of hype. You know what really bothers me about Dragapult, though? Like, real talk? His little hands. You know what I'm saying? He's got a little... Look at his hands. They kind of weird me out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, his feeties are right, but his, like, hands are just like... You know? I don't know what's going on there. Don't slander him? I'm just telling you. He's like a little little weirdly stealth fighter Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> it's like a stealth bomber T-Rex. You don't need hands. He got that tail. His tail is like fading into the abyss, though. Fade into darkness. Wait, you fade into darkness. Alright. The little dreepies are shiny, too. Oh, yeah, the little dreepy is shiny. It better be. Alright. Let's do another one. Six ninety five. That was a that was a good set of packs. I mean, we got some decent stuff. I, I got a dragon pole and a Suicune, bro. Like those are wins. Not the kind of guy you want to high five. That's that's facts, dude. That's facts. Like he's the kind of he's the kind of dude where you give him a handshake and he hits you with like the dead fish. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that. Am I gonna go into hidden fates anytime soon? I think so. Actually, I I've been itching a little bit. I want to try to pull a few more chase cards and shining fates first, but. This is the one, 695, you think so? You think so? This is the one? Oh, what a terrible group of Pokemon we got here. All right, let's see what we got. Closing on 5,500 too for the buggies. And 40 seconds left on our sub train. Let's do Cover Grigus. And then we'll do. I don't know. What ups? Yeah, let's go that. Into dark. Into darkness. What dark type is that? Oh, Sharpedo. Nah, we're gonna we're about to hit up we're about to hit up 700. How many subs does A Drive have on Twitch? At least 20, I would say. If I if I had to guess, I would say at least 20 subs. Actually, sub train's about to die, so I'm gonna say at least zero. <laughs> More or less, though, give or take. Maso Manos, you know. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, uh, there's only been like one or two times in my Twitch career where I broadcasted my sub count. I generally don't like to broadcast it, and I'll tell you exactly why. It's not even that it needs to be a secret. It's that I just don't want to deal with people telling me, like, reacting to the ups and downs and swings of it. Because it can vary quite a bit. And I just, I don't know, I just feel like that's just not something I want to deal with.
So I just never really broadcast it. Because, like, I can tell you when I left the stream on Sunday versus where it is right now is a very big difference. So, like, it, w it went down a lot, you know? But that's okay. That happens. It is what it is. It's part of being a streamer, man. You got to just realize that it's not about that. Um, so... Honestly, I don't even really look at it anyway. I just I just show up every day, man. I, I really think that one of the best pieces of advice I can give as a content creator is, and I've been watching a lot of this. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown here because I feel like there's some really good insight I can give you guys right now. One of the things that I think is important to recognize is the things that you can't control, especially as a streamer, are the things that you need to like remove from your brain, right? So what can I not control? I can't control how many people are watching me right now. I'll, I'll explain further. I can't control how many subs I have. I can't control my followers, right? Like, those are things I can't control. What I can control is I control going live and I control putting on a good show. The other stuff just happens, right? Like, I can't, I can't, like, people are either going to sub, they're not going to sub. Like, I have no control over that. I just stream. And if it happens, great. If it doesn't, I'll show up tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's going to be what it's going to be. Um, if you start stressing about those things, it'll impact your performance as a creator. Another thing I want to mention that I've been seeing a lot, like, I, I fell into Twitch TikTok somehow. I don't know how it happened. But there's a big community on, on TikTok of Twitch streamers trying to boost themselves up and boost each other up. And I get it. I think it's cool. Um, and I saw this one thing and I felt like this was really good advice. A lot of people think that like the grind means just streaming 12 hours a day, right? And like that's what the grind is. And you see people, and I remember this guy a few months ago. I got into like an argument with this dude. And he, was, he, he streamed like 12 hours a day for like two years straight. And... I mean, no disrespect, I'm using an example here, but he had a, you know, um, a relatively small viewer base, I'm gonna say, but I'm trying to be mindful, right? Because I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, everyone starts somewhere, everyone's journey's different, right? Like, I'm not saying anything negative about that. But I think it's important to realize that, like, the grind, the idea of putting in the work, doesn't just mean, like, bl mo like blindly, mindlessly just going live for 12 hours a day and expecting something to change. Like, if you do that for months straight, and you don't really feel like you're going anywhere further to where you want to go. Like, if you're not really gaining any traction, you're not seeing any difference in terms of your viewership, then clearly you're doing something wrong. Like, there are, yeah, grinding for follows, right? There are other things that you can do. And I'm going to give you guys the secret tech right now. And I actually had this conversation with, with a friend of mine the other day. And I said, if I was a new creator, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a full-time creator, and I'm, I'm doing this right now. But my advice is, if I was a new creator, please, Max, take this. Thank you. If I was a new creator, you know what I would be doing right now? I would be streaming, but I would also be posting on YouTube. I would be posting on TikTok. I would be posting on Facebook. I would be posting on Instagram. I would be doing every social platform that I could possibly wrap my brain around to throw my content up there, even if it was the same content that I threw on a different platform. Why? Because if you were gonna count on Twitch's search algorithm to get you viewership, you have no idea how this works. Because that's not how it works. I will tell you the majority of the people that are in my stream, and you guys can attest to this in the chat, either came to me from a different platform, not Twitch, or found me during a big marathon. Simple as that. I would imagine that 80% of the people watching right now either found me on a different platform or came to me through a marathon here. So think about that. Twitch discoverability is garbage tier. Even as a full-time creator, it is a struggle to have people find you organically on this platform. They realize it's an issue. Everyone knows it's an issue. Twitch discoverability is bad. If you're not one of the biggest streamers on the platform, ain't nobody gonna find you on Twitch. It's as simple as that. So it's your job to figure out how can I get people from other platforms to come check me out on Twitch. And it's not easy. It's very difficult. It is very challenging. But you have to recognize that it is a marathon, not a sprint. If someone finds you on a TikTok, they may recognize you. You may not grab their attention there, but maybe a week from then, they find another one of your TikToks and maybe then they check you out. Or maybe they find two or three of your TikToks, they don't care about you yet, but then you spark their interest and they're like, oh, I remember this guy, let me go take a look at them. And then boom, you might have someone check you out. You know what I'm saying? If you are not, like if you are a Twitch streamer, you should, and again, I'm guilty of this. I'm learning too, right? I'm learning too. And I regret not doing this before. But all of your Twitch live streams should be going up on YouTube. No excuse. You should be uploading them and doing a VOD channel at the very least. I just started the VOD channel now. I should have done it a long time ago.
But at the very least, you should just be uploading your Twitch streams. Because even if only two people find it, that's two more people that may come to your live stream. You know what I'm saying? So, it really is that, guys. I'm telling you, if you just go live on Twitch and expect to grow, unless you get really lucky and some huge streamer raids you or something, it's not going to happen. You need to be on all these platforms. You have to. You have to be on all these different platforms. And right now, I will tell you the secret tech that I believe in is actually, I believe TikTok is one of the secret techs. And I, I am beating myself up about TikTok. And I try to remind myself that it is what it is, hindsight's 2020. But let me tell you what I did with TikTok. I miss TikTok hardcore, guys. I missed it, and I'm an idiot for it. Let me explain. When TikTok launched, TikTok paid me. TikTok hired me to come on their platform and make TikToks. Think about that for a second. They brought me on and said, hey, we're going to do a sponsorship with you. We want you to try out our platform. We're going to have you make 12 TikToks. I made 12 TikToks. They all got like 100,000 views, which is crazy, right? And then what did I do? I was like, eh, I don't really care about it. TikTok's for younger people. I don't really fit the demographic. It's not really my thing. I'm an idiot. Now what do I do? I post three TikToks a day, bro. Like, stupid. Stupid. It has the highest level of discoverability of any social platform. I can only imagine if I had been doing TikTok since my partnership that I did with them, if I never stopped, I probably, I honestly believe there's a chance I have a million followers on TikTok. Like, I'm not even kidding. I know you're probably like, oh my God, that's dumb. There's no way. But like, real talk, I wouldn't be surprised. If I could butterfly effect this, go back four years and post every day on TikTok for four years, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me I had a million followers on TikTok. Like, that's how crazy TikTok is, bro. And it has such a huge opportunity to get people to find your content. You have to be on every one of these platforms, dude. You have to. And I'm not even telling you guys to work extra. Like, just take the same exact content and throw it on something else. You know what I'm saying? Just take the same stuff and use it elsewhere. So. Well, thank you, Rachel. I'm really, I'm really, I understand where you're coming from, Rachel. And I'm glad to hear that um, you've changed your perspective of me. I understand that I'm the kind of person where... I'm definitely polarizing. People are either going to love me or hate me, and I get that. Um, I understand that you came, you found me from, I would consider, a bad look for myself. I think that when you look at the whole picture of what I do, I think I do some really good things. I'm not perfect. I will make mistakes. I'm going to make more mistakes. Um, I'm sure I will. I remember when I made that apology for the McDonald's stuff, there were a couple people who were just like, Oh my god, A-Drive, isn't this still another apology? Didn't you make an apology like last month or whatever? Like, yes, I'm human. Like, stop putting me on a different standard than you put yourself to, bro. Like, we all make mistakes. Like, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna learn from them, and I'm gonna move forward. That's it. So, I'm glad to hear that you enjoy what we do, and thank you so much for having the maturity and understanding to see past a mistake that I made um, and, and an error in judgment that I made. So, uh, thank you guys for the 100 bits. Well, listen, that's another thing. God, if you if you don't trust the software for TikTok, that's a totally different ballgame, and I totally get that. So, I'm, I'm with it. I, I get it. Yeti, thanks for the 200 bits, man, and I'm glad to hear that you enjoy the vice, advice. Um, so, this is some good advice, though, for real. For anyone who wants to be a content, content creator, I'm telling you guys, you got you to gotta be thinking about all these different platforms, man. You really do. You really do. And I know it's overwhelming, but... Welcome to 2021 where everyone wants to be a content creator. That's the reality of it. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's the reality of it. I'm so thankful that I get to do this as a job. And part of the reason I work so hard every day is because I recognize that it is a blessing and that it's something that so many people would give up so much for. But the reality of it is I gave up the last seven years of my life to do this, right? Like I basically put in the work every day to do it. But that doesn't mean I'm guaranteed anything in the future. I'm not guaranteed anything. I still have to show up every single day. You know what I mean? So it's important to remember that. It's important to remember that. So that's great, Max. That's great. I mean, that's huge right out the gates, right? So. Oh, we kind of got decimated from that. Um, I like Sharpedo over Oranguru, and I like the rest of the team. So I'm going to say the uh, Ranguru takes this. Hey, Shadow, 44 months. What's up, man? Thank you, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Nomi. I appreciate that. Shadow Nomi, we love you here, of course. So I hope I hope that little spiel spiel 
uh, gave at least one person some some inspiration and some advice and I think it's important the last thing I'll say about that is I think it's important to remember that this is a marathon not a sprint and I think it's incredibly important that you do not compare yourself to other content creators you cannot do that you will drive yourself insane if you compare yourself to other content creators you can't do it it's not fair to yourself it's not fair to yourself. You, you deserve better than that. Your journey is not going to be the same as anyone else's. You know? You just you just can't compare yourself. You know? Comparison is the thief of joy. Like, you just cannot compare yourself. So. Don't do it. Even if it's tempting, don't do it. Now that I'm done spitting all those facts. Thank you again, Shadow. <laughs> It's like comparing yourself to models. I mean, I more or less am a model, aren't I? With this face? How are you supposed to, how's that model face? You're supposed to raise your eyebrows. What's the model face? How do you do it, guys? Anyone ever see that TikTok? It's like raise your eyebrows, close your eyes, open your eyes. What is, what is the model face that you're, how does that work? Anyone know what I'm talking about? I gotta do it right now. You're supposed to raise, how do, <laughs> it's it's a uh yeah i don't know what it is it's on tiktok i don't know smile first <laughs> i don't know how to do it smile raise your eyebrows and then stop smiling all right all right we're gonna do it real quick hold on all right we're gonna smile <laughs> I need to be thinner. Don't hate. Gorgeous. Nailed it. <laughs> I am taken, ladies. Sorry. Dark Assassin, thanks for the sub love, man. Appreciate that. You uh, you saw that angle? I was gonna contour actually. I didn't I didn't add my contour. So Ooh, nice burn. Nice burn. Hey, thank you, Dark Assassin. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. This one's the shiny. Yeah, we said that 694 times before this, man. Ain't nobody's right yet. Can y'all get the prediction right by now? Jeez. Like, what are we doing here? America, America's next top streamer model. Oh, is that my, my calling? Is that what I'm going to be? America's next top streamer model? I could work with that. I mean, it is what it is. It do be like that sometimes, though. Aqua Jet! I don't know if Terrain's up. Don't listen to me. Nice. Alright, let's see it. I feel like I should get a haircut. Yeah, I think I should go get a haircut. I've been holding off being lazy. I got my winter cut. Ugh. Let's see. Let Danny cut it? Nah. Uh, no thanks, uh, Peach, Peachy. All right, let's get a shiny. No, 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 no. Well, that went over well. Guys. Guys, what is going on with this? Like, who, who did, who's like dog did I kick? 
So, so I didn't kick any dogs. Let me make that clear. Like, who's whose drink did I spit in to get this? 696 encounters. I didn't kick any dogs. Let me just clarify. <laughs> I didn't kick any dogs. I would not do that. Unless I was being attacked, in which case I would need to self-defend. But I try not to be in those situations. I didn't spit in anyone's drink either. There's a pandemic. That's rude. <laughs> What's up, Kava? Thank you so much. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi, A Dry V. Hello. A Dr. Ivy. To you, actually. Every person in chat that I've banned, that's how many raids it's gonna take. Oh boy, strap in everybody. <laughs> It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> We're all doomed. I I would guess that I probably banned. It's gotta be thousands by now, dude. It's gotta be thousands. It's it's gotta be thousands by now. Yeah. <laughs> Rough times, dude. Rough times. Unban all? No thanks. I thought about it once. No. Hey, Shadow, I'm excited. What's up, Natural? Thank you so much, Natural, for the love. Yeah, I think Tyler probably has banned as many as I have. Tyler, Tyler has done some serious banning here. He's, done, he's swung his hammer a lot. He has swung his hammer a lot. Do a Shining Fates keep it or rip it? No. Last time I did that, man, I got attacked on the internet. Because I don't know if you guys heard the memo, but you're not allowed to do what you want to do with your own property. <laughs> Bring back Deathly for a snap marathon? I mean, Tyler's coming this weekend. You got requisite about 7,000 resets. Nice. Looks like you had some good luck there, Ninja. I know, Jow. It was a joke. Yeah, so Tyler, um, Tyler's coming this weekend for our um, Call of Legends break. And then our next break after that, I announced earlier in stream, but I didn't announce it on social media yet. So... If you're trying to get in, you should probably hit me up stat. This is a really sick break. Like, I feel like our next break after Call of Legends is really sick. We're, if you guys didn't hear it earlier, we're going to do a set called EX Power Keepers. It's the first EX series break that we're doing. And it features a series of gold car or gold star evolutions. Uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, gold star, shiny evolutions. Very, very, very coveted. Incredible cards. Uh, there's also a couple char there's a Charizard card that you can get reverse hollow and hollow very epic as well so seven fifty seven fifty is the pack and I'm I sold uh, not quite half but we're getting there yeah those energies are sick I mean the whole set is awesome Oh, what do I want? Polisand? Mm, yeah, let's do Polisand. 
Is EX Power Keepers better than Call of Legends? Um, better? I don't know if better. I, I, I mean, I honest, I guess I would say, is it better? Yes and no. Like, I think I would rather have a Gold Star Evolution than a Shiny Legendary in Call of Legends. But the Shiny Lugia is worth more than anything in Call of Legends. So, I guess in that context, Call of Legends would be better. But... I think the shiny evolutions are sick. I mean, they're both epic sets. It's just for different reasons, really. So I I would say that the EX Power Keepers is the rarer of the two. I would I would think. But um, I don't know. I guess it's hard to say. Oh, nice, Mark. I tried it. It didn't work. Control. What's up, Philem? I hope so, Mapson. I mean, if I could guarantee it for you, I would, but I don't know how everyone else would feel about that. So, I mean, I, th I think both sets are good for different reasons, you know? It's just a matter of your preferences, but I think that the fact that this is our first ever EX break, that's really epic. I'm excited. I'm excited. First ever chance at a gold star. So, Speaking of TCG, guys, if you don't know, we have uh, new pre-orders available for the next set coming out called Battle Styles. Comes out in about two weeks, a little over two weeks. So get those pre-orders in if you want to make sure you're going to get stock. Um, exclamation point TCG. You could use code ADRIVE for a discount. A couple other things of note that you might want to snag. Um, there's the Pokemon VMAX Battle Boxes that feature Venusaur VMAX or Blastoise VMAX. You can get either of the two. Um, that's a really good pickup because that's the only way to get that Venusaur or that Blastoise card. And then there's some ETBs there for Battle Styles, Battle Styles ETBs. And then we have Shining Fates as well on the website. Hidden Fates, Champion's Path. We're actually pretty stocked right now. So if you're looking for any, any stuff, we have good stock right now. So... Hey, I'm Ziddle, that's sick. I don't know, Foof. How long until I break out the all red? You think I should wear a red shirt for Solgaleo? I mean, I got red on my shirt. Is that? It's like pinkish red. Do you watch any podcasts? I was under the impression that you usually listen to podcasts. Hey, nice, Mega Man. Thank you, Falium, for 10 months of love. Natural with 57. My goodness. Dan doesn't own a shirt that's not black. Eh, almost true. Almost true. Believe it or not, I do have clothes that are not black, but I don't wear them. The Lucky Charmander shirt? Oh my goodness. Shout out to that shirt. We might have to we might have to get the Lucky Charmander shirt on. That's true. We may have to get the Lucky Charmander shirt back on. The pre-recorded shirt. I retired the pre-recorded shirt. <laughs> I retired that from my, my shirts that I wear. Uh, I guess I'll tantrum. Notice me, senpai. Yes. You have been noticed. Any chance for a new puppy? Are you asking if I'm going to get another puppy? Can I just show you guys this? Nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. It's not even worth. It's not even worth. I'll just block and move on. Oh yo yo. Yeah, I don't need a puppy right now. I don't need a puppy. No, I'm not gonna show you guys. It doesn't matter, don't worry. Um, I don't need a puppy. 
Puppies are a lot of work, dude. Puppies are a lot of work. I mean, they're super cute, right? But they're a lot of work. They just poop all over the place at the beginning of their life. They just poop everywhere. And then they chew on things. You know? They chew on things. I remember when we first got Lily. I remember every morning. I was... We had got her. I was working... Um, full time at the time as a creator and Danny was working at, at our previous job and every morning we woke up and Lily was in her crate covered in her poop every every morning for like the first week so legit we're out here giving her a bath I'm starting my day by giving her a bath every morning until she got potty trained uh, or crate trained first we crate trained her first but it takes them a little while to figure it out and then, um, obviously she's good now. She sleeps in our bed now. We have no issues now, but, um, but you got to crate train them first. And then after that, it's, it's a wonderful thing, but it is a lot of work. What's up, Blaze? Thanks for the nine months of love. I, I don't want another puppy right now. Maybe one day, but not right now. Um, I'm good. Armaldo should take this though. Blaze, thank you for nine months of love. Rhino throwing down as well. Thank you very much. I mean, I love my dog so much, of course, but. Wait, why didn't you take it? How do you how do you keep our Maldo over Mimikyu, bro? Come on. Come on. Straight throwing, dude. Don't worry, a drive my Armaldo has X scissor. What's up, Jess? How are you? Nah, it's not bugging me, but I like your joke. Thank you very much for 46, Jessica. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh man. It was worth it in the end because you got it in 20 runs, bro. Is it gonna be worth it for me after four months? I don't know. That remains to be seen. It's a little late now, but Dugtrio, your strategy is always substitute generally in these raids, Dugtrio. You substitute first and don't Dynamax because you're going to outspeed Solgaleo and you're going to always be able to just make sure you don't lose a heart. So, another tip, if you ever Dugtrio, just substitute first. Because then if he breaks the substitute, it's nothing lost, right? Otherwise, you'd be dead. Ever thought about getting a piercing? Uh, I used to have my ear pierced. See, if we had substitute up, we wouldn't have just lost a heart there. See how that works? It's almost as if I've done this for four months. Do I like bananas? I do. My daughter loves bananas. She calls them bananas. Half a banana, half a banana, please. Mommy, please, half a banana. <laughs> Mommy, please half a ban now, please. <laughs> She's cute. She loves her, her bananas. Banna. Oh, well, I'll have to try it again, Control. Watch, we're gonna lose the raid now, because Doug Trio didn't substitute, bro. And if we had a Mimic you instead of an Armaldo. I think we lost. Can we cheer or reflect? Light screen. Noble roar, that's lucky. Oh, just don't miss the stomping tantrum. 
Wait, I think stomach tantrum is 100%. It's high horsepower. That's not. What's up, Curse? Yeah, my daughter's walking very well. She's running. I'm running, jumping, spinning, dancing. Well, we got through it. Almost choked it, yeah. Oh, it's 95. Well, horsepower, Bob. Where this is tantrum. He's got tantrum, not horsepower. I think horsepower is, or I think tantrum is 100. Accuracy. Now, 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 now. We got about a minute left on our sub turn. Yo, what's up, Ninja? Thank you so much, man. Uh, it's just a drive, Squirtle. Code A drive. What's up, Mosey? How you doing, bro? See you later, Marvin. Have a wonderful night, man. Good luck at work, bro. What's up, Dietrich? Me too. What's up, Rose? How are you? Yo, Rhino does it again. Juggo throwing down. Scrim the slot coming through. T -t 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 Triple sub. Well, hot diggity dog. And X Lexi. Uh, with all the talk about getting your channel out there, do you have a manager or have you thought about having one? I actually do have a manager, yes. I do. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. So, my situation is unique, right? So, I actually do have a manager. Um, but, and he's very, very good at what he does. Very smart guy. Um, by the way, we could potentially get a hype train here. Thank you, uh, Alexi, for the $10, by the way. $10 donation. Uh, we have three hypes right now on our way to a hype train. Uh, yeah, so I have a manager. He's a very brilliant guy. Uh, and we work together for a handful of things. But, because of my experience in the space, uh, and my background in marketing and business and advertising, I actually serve as my own manager for a lot of the things that I do. Um, whether that's smart or not, I don't know. But it's part of the job that I do enjoy. So, I don't really sign exclusivity deals with people. Um, I work with a handful of different agencies and I represent myself at times as well. Um, and that's just how I approach what I do. So, um, yeah. So for big stuff, like, you know, really, really big kind of uh, deals that are, you know, kind of career forming, I guess, I involve my manager. But for pretty much everything else, I kind of just do my thing and hit him up if I need anything, you know? Um, and I think that he respects that I do that as well. I don't think he has any issues, obviously, since we've been doing that for a couple years now. Um, and yeah, so like I said, I represent myself a lot. Like there's a, like I'm in the process of like working on a potential deal with a company right now. And like I was talking to them for the first couple weeks and then I brought my manager into the conversation um, because I really wanted to get their perspective and try to see if we can, um, you know, make something happen or whatever, so. I mean, it was a game changer, sir. Uh, a lot changed, so all good stuff. Thank you so much, Luna. Yeah, for those who missed it, we raised uh, fifty-one thousand dollars for charity on Sunday, which was amazing. What's up, Mumbo? So I was very excited. Hey, congratulations, Rose. That's amazing. So thank you, Scrim and Yeti. That's another gifted sub. Thank you, Yeti. We have four hypes, six hypes away from a hype train. I'm not currently partnered with Rhesus now. I do love me some Rhesus, but uh, not partnered with them right now. Hey, what's up, Easy Elites? So, Nelv, I think that's a great conversation to have. So, Nelv says, My son wants to be a content creator, but I've been trying to express to him the importance of education as well. How much do you value how much value would you place in your marketing degree and what you do so now I would say that initially when I started as a content creator 
I didn't recognize the true value of what I had learned as a student in college. For those who don't know, I have a degree in marketing and business and I worked at a handful of different companies after that. I worked for the New York Stock Exchange in analytics. I worked for a market research company doing advertising research. Um, so when I first started content creation, I didn't really put that into perspective too much because I didn't know enough about content creation to understand how my previous knowledge would apply. Now, I feel like it has been such a huge piece of the puzzle for me and it's been one of the most impactful pieces that allows me and has allowed me to find success in this industry. Um, what we have seen in this industry is that there's a lot of people who are content creators, who are entertainers, but there's a whole nother side of this industry that is a business. And I feel like people don't wanna hear that and they don't wanna expect that, or they don't wanna um, acknowledge that rather. People think that it's just about going live and putting on a good show and that's the end of it. But to really be a successful content creator, there's a lot behind the scenes that has to happen too. And having that experience through my education, I believe has really helped me in a lot of ways. And it's also helped me in just interacting with people and engaging with people from a professional perspective. Like I know how to send a really good email and that sounds like a very rudimentary thing, but the reality of it is people think they know how to send good emails and they don't. Um, that's a really important skill to learn as you're in corporate America really, or corporate anywhere really. So I feel that my education was so important for me. And the other thing about my education that I think was very important for me is no one can ever take that away from me. I will always, even if it's a piece of paper, I always have proof that I went to school, I have a college degree, and if my career ever goes a different path, I have that on the back burner if I ever need it. Because again, there's no guarantees in this field. You know, I, I like to believe that I will be able to do this for another year, a couple years, five years, whatever it is, but there is no guarantees and I never assume there are guarantees. I show up every day and I put in the work. So you have to, you have to in this field. But I do have that as a backup plan if ever needed, I have that guarantee. And I think young people right now are looking at the content creator space and if you ask a person in high school what they wanna do when they get older, the majority of the people are gonna say that they wanna be content creators. Like that's just, that's just where we're headed right now. People wanna be content creators, they want to be influencers. They want to be big on TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and social media or whatever, right? Twitch, whatever it is. Um, and you can do that while still getting an education. Get an education in something that aligns with what you want to do as a creator. If you went to a, a college and learn how to do professional editing, or if you went to college to learn how to do public speaking, or if you went to college to learn how to run a business, or if you went like... There's so many things and pieces to the puzzle that you could learn through an education, like a formal education, that could definitely apply to content creation if you do it the right way. Now, the caveat to that, I will say this, and I, I, I'm sorry, Nel, if this is not what you wanted me to say, but I will say this. I'm a big believer that there are, that college is not for everyone. I do believe that. I do believe that people should not be pushed to college. And I believe that there's a ton of other paths that people can take in their lives to find success through other things. Like, I think trades are a big one. I'm a big believer in the trades. I'm talking plumbers, electricians, welders. I mean, I'm talking, you know, the whole shebang, HVAC. I think that there's there's actually a lot of value there because those are never gonna go away. Well, at least anytime soon, right? So I think that being in, in a trade is actually a very, very worthwhile uh, thing if that's if that's your, your vibe. Um, but I also, I mean, I think there's also something to be said about, you know, people who are entrepreneurs and self-motivated and things like that and able to kind of do their thing. I think college is a great, great thing for a lot of people. I really do. Um, and I have no regrets about getting a higher education. I actually, I'll tell a story. Thank you so much, Nelv, for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. That was really nice of you. I'm still answering your question. It was very nice of you. Um, I'll tell you guys a story. It was funny. I was a very good student. I was, I was lucky. School came easy to me. I was very lucky in that regard. I was a good student, but when the time came to go to school, like college, after high school, I had to make that decision. Am I gonna go to college or am I gonna do my band, right? Because I was gonna, I was in a band. And I, I believe that we were gonna be, we were gonna be famous in my band, I really did. I was a teenager, I was stupid, I didn't know what, what was going on in real life. So I really believed that we were gonna be really famous one day. So I didn't wanna go to college. I told my dad I don't wanna go to college. Like, I'm, I just wanna be in the band. Thank you so much, Savage, for the two gifted subs, man. Thank you, that's a pack right there. And my dad said, I just, I just want you to go to school. Like, he's like, if you just go to school and just try it, 
He's like, I promise you it'll work out. Like, I promise you, you won't regret it. And I trusted my dad because my dad, my dad, I just trusted that he was smarter than me. And I did end up going to school and I obviously got, you know, my education and things like that. So he was right. I'm glad I listened to him. Um, but he also knew me. He knew the kind of kid I was and he knew that I was going to be savvy in, in, an, in a, like a, a higher education setting and things like that. Um, and he doesn't have a college degree. My dad doesn't have one. And he wanted me to do that because he felt that he missed out on opportunities in his life because he didn't have one. So I think that there's different perspectives here. And I think it's important to recognize that everyone's different and everyone's going to go down their own path. But when it comes down to the idea of a content creator, kind of bringing it full circle here, I do believe that you can be very strategic about going into school to get education for content creation. I think that that's definitely a thing. And I think that having that as a backup plan is also incredibly valuable. And I think there's other pieces to being in college that are almost as important as the education itself. When people go to college, they meet people, they meet friends, they meet potential partners, whether it be boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, right? You learn so much about yourself through those experiences. And I do feel that if you don't go through that process that you may miss out on some of that stuff. Now you're obviously gonna have different experiences which may or may not be more valuable. That That's depending on the person, but there is a lot of value in that regard in my opinion that I think it's lost in this equation. Because when I think back in my life, like every relationship that I had at, with a friend or a girlfriend or whatever it is, we can say that all those relationships with girlfriends all failed, but they didn't because I learned so much about myself and what I was looking for in a partner for the rest of my life, which allowed me to ultimately make the decision when I met my now wife that she was the person for me. She was the person I was gonna spend the rest of my life with. But I wouldn't have been able to come to that conclusion if I had not had those relationships prior where I learned about myself and other people and what I wanted and what I didn't want in a relationship. And I definitely think if I was not in college in a higher education, I probably would not have had that opportunity because I would have been doing something else, right? I don't know what it would have been, but again, it depends on the person. Um, so again, I think there's a lot of, a lot of different things you can do. And, and jarring, I'm a big, big believer in electricians. Um, you know, that's, that's what my dad does. So, uh, Jago, thanks for the 300 bits, man. Appreciate it, dude. So those are, that's my perspective. Um, but what I would do, man, I'll tell you what, I, if I, if I had the skills, to, I, I went for business, but if I had the skills for editing, if I had the skills for, I mean, there's so many things you can learn video production. I mean, there's a lot that you can learn that could be really valuable. What year did I start streaming? You want to hear something super funny, dude? I took a screenshot of it. I didn't post it. But I took a screenshot of it. Ready for this? You ready for this? This isn't even my first ever stream, but I have a screenshot from Facebook. Facebook memories from yesterday. I'm doing a you stream this Thursday at 7 p.m. Come watch me record. March 1st, 2010. Which tells me that I know that wasn't my first ever stream. I did my first ever live stream in probably 2009 in front of people. Now, obviously, that's not Twitch, but that shows how far back, you know, I go from a live streaming perspective. Like, and I have it right here, this screenshot. I saved it on my phone because I thought it was so funny that I have it from 2010 of me doing a live stream on a website called Ustream, which doesn't even exist anymore. It's owned by IBM, I think, now. But I have, I have a post from me doing a Ustream in 2010, dude. That's crazy to me. I thought that was so crazy to look at. So, um, that's, that's really crazy. Not gaming dank. I did other streams. Like I didn't stream gaming. I streamed like hanging out. Like I was in a band, so we had a little bit of a following. So we would just stream us hanging out and just talking to people like who would watch us. Right. And we would stream like our band practices or us on acoustic guitars or whatever. So that was something that we had done. Like I said, a, a decade ago. Right. Um, it's just so funny to look back at that and see that little that little Facebook memory. I was like, wow, that's actually really crazy. That's actually really crazy. So, hey, there you go, Trid. So, hopefully that was a good answer. Uh, thank you, Winter, for the six months. Appreciate it. I hope that was a good answer for you, Nelv. Um, and I, the last thing I'll say about this that I think is important to remember, yo, Danish. By the way, Danish, you were an MVP this weekend, man. We raised fifty-one thousand dollars, and you were a big part of that. So, thank you, man. Uh, thank you for the gifted sub. The other thing I want to say, I think this is important to remember, okay? You can go to school and create content at the same time. 
you can work a full-time job and create content at the same time if you want it bad enough you will figure it out simple as that i really believe that and i believe that i'm an example of that because i worked full-time at a salary job after college and i still managed to stream almost every day and i still grew a channel now it was a different time but still i grew a channel on twitch while working at a full-time career and then i grew it to the point where i could quit my full-time career and go full-time as a streamer and it took me a while but i got there right so i do believe that you can do that and i know it's tough for now because you know it's years later and it's very difficult to become uh you know there's there's a lot of creators but the reality of it is if you are a good creator and you do it long enough and you do it smart enough someone's gonna find you people are gonna find you and if you think that you know people aren't finding you because of this this and this well maybe you need to rethink your formula like the reality of it is i streamed for like what was it maybe a year ish a year of me doing call of duty on twitch in front of less than five people i did youtube for about five years doing call of duty didn't really make it too far and then i switched to pokemon and look what happened light switch flipped it was the perfect storm of my strengths my hobbies and an opportunity really and things just worked right so i went from being you know like i said less than five people watching me play call of duty every day to next thing i know i'm streaming pokemon in front of like 15 20 then 50 then 75 then 100 then 300 then a thousand then back down to 300 <clears throat> let's go be genie and then up here right so <laughs> um so those are my thoughts those are my thoughts so. let's go pikachu dv days were rough times man those were rough times <laughs> the lgpe days man oh man those are those are tough times I would say this is my dream job. I didn't know it was my dream job back then because it didn't exist as a job, but this is definitely my dream job. I love what I do, man. I really do love what I do. And you know I love what I do because I'm here every day. If I didn't love what I do, bro, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> it's that simple. I really do love what I do, so. I like more days than, some days more than others, but that's pretty normal. I saw a TikTok this morning that said something effective like, uh, Every day is a good day. Some days are just better than others. And I like that. I like that. Every day that we're above ground is a good day. Unless you're like a miner or like you dig tunnels or something or you live in a basement and you're underground, then I guess you have to change that thought a little bit. But um, you know what I mean. What's up, Ace? Thanks for 12 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ace has agreed. Thank you so much. You might live in a cave. Hopefully you have good Weefy there. If you're in a cave that's above ground, but you're in a cave, are you still underground? I guess you are, right? Because a cave by default is underground. I'm excited about it, Chas. I'm very excited about it. Very important question. What's the longest you can microwave a hot pocket and still be able to grab it barehanded out of the microwave? Oof. I would say anything over three minutes and 15 seconds, you're really playing. You're really, you're really, you're really rolling the dice on that one. You know? I would give it three minutes, 15 seconds. Um, and that, that's like, that's like maybe first degree burns at that point. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I try not to uh, eat Hot Pockets to begin with. So that's, that's like the first part of the issue. Yes, I did, Sidhu. Why not, Mork? All right, so I got the luck of the Irish in this one. Let's see it. What is this, Facebook Whimsicott? No. No. 
No, and... No. I did it with my eyes closed. I knew it was no. Thanks for nothing, Nomi. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to put them in the little sleeve. Yeah, of course. I haven't had a bagel bite in at least a decade. That's a good bet, though. I kind of want to go to the grocery store. I told Danny I need to go to the grocery store. Maybe I'll go after the stream. I got to get more Nathan's French fries. Those are banging. Actually, maybe I'll go tomorrow. I don't know. Nathan's French fries are the play, though. Don't sleep on those. They're very good. Speaking of not sleeping on things, I just want you guys to know that we now have Battle Styles, the new TCG set, coming out in a few weeks on pre-order. You can get booster boxes, ETBs, as well as the exclusive uh, set that comes with the VMAX, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Uh, you can only get them through that box. So if anyone's looking to get some uh, Battle Styles or Shotting Fates or anything like that, you guys can type exclamation point TCG and use code ADRIVE. Make sure you guys get those battle styles order in order orders in now before it's hard to get in a few weeks. Don't come after me in three weeks and tell me you can't find battle styles anymore when I told you multiple times where you can where you can do this. You know, just saying. Just saying. I do have an air fryer, yes. I use my air fryer a lot. I use it for taquitos. I use it for french fries. I use it for a bunch of stuff. I like my air fryer. I will say, cleaning it less than ideal. Otherwise, it's great. What do I recommend? ETBs or booster boxes? Booster boxes have 36 packs. ETBs uh, battle styles will be eight packs. So, a booster box is gonna be your bang for your buck for sure. So. The air fryer is a very good kitchen appliance, I agree. I don't want to say it's the best, but I do think it's a great kitchen appliance. Have I ever ate a mozzarella stick? Of course I have. I live in America. Anything that's, like, got a lot of fat and grease and, like, is fried, I've probably eaten. brand air fryer do I have? I have no idea what it is. Do you think it tastes, the oven taste is better than air fryer taste? No, I think the air fryer taste is very good. I don't think an oven, I think everything that I've had in an air fryer has tasted just fine compared to what it would be in an oven. And the air fryer is so much faster. The air fryer is way faster. It's good right now, Rose. Yeah, it's good right now. Uh, they come sealed as in... Yeah, like... They have a, a plastic wrap around them. And then all the packs will be inside sealed. It's 36 packs in a booster box. The one thing I will say about booster boxes, there is some variance, of course. I prefer to open out of booster boxes because I feel like your chances of getting, like your chance of getting decent pulls is higher in a booster box than it is if you were to get the same amount of packs loose. I feel like there's more variance in loose packs than there is in booster boxes. That could play in your favor or it could not play in your favor. I've had luck on both ends of the spectrum. But I, de I generally do believe that a booster box is the safest bet to make sure you get something decent out of your pulls. Like you can get a you can get a late trainer an elite trainer box and get one hit, and you're just like, well, that's a bummer. And then you can buy a booster box and get like eight to ten hits, right? You know what I mean? So again, it can it can go either way. I've seen it happen both ways, but. Um, Uh, 
Uh, they don't do that for special sets, Poké DD, so it doesn't really matter what I think. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't get any tins, Seal. Jaren, thanks for the gifted sub. Up, Chuck, coming through. We lose our sub train, but it's all good. We got a new one. Yeah, I didn't get any of the tins myself. Um, I kind of like Slowbro actually here. Why do we have like the worst team ever though? Ugh. Let's do Slowbro and then like a Grass Pokemon or something. I don't really want Linoon. I'd rather have Slowbro. Okay, no one listens. <laughs> But the reality of it is, like, it's all random, and you're dealing with large numbers, so there's a lot of variance, you know? There's just a lot of variance. Thank you guys all for being here today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Be sure to hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet. Following is always free, guys. Am I gay? Nope. I'm straight. I'm married to my wife. Thanks for your interest, though. Oh, you asked again, too. Jeez. You really want to know about my sexual preferences, huh? Oh, I see now. You're a spammer. Okay, well, goodbye. That was easy. It's so nice when the spammers and trolls call themselves out for me, you know? It makes my life so easy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Making it easy for me. Hey, yeah, always using code A drive. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for thinking of me. Hey, good stuff, Ripped. I hope you get great pulls, man. I hope you get some great pulls. I see a lot of you guys picking up those battle style pre orders. Good plays there. Couple other things to mention on the site, guys. They have the Pokemon First Partner Collectors binders, those are going to be for the jumbo cards. This is the first one that came out, so if you get this one, then you can get the jumbo cards after that. A um, couple other things that I think are cool. I mentioned the Venusaur and Blastoise boxes. Uh, it's in the same one. You click the Venusaur box and it opens it up. Um, and then obviously Shining Fates listed there. We got some other stuff. Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path, bunch of stuff. It's actually decent stock right now of a lot of things. So, Best cards to pull from Battle Styles. If you check my Twitter, I posted the set list the other day. Uh, yesterday, I think, or this morning. Um, there's a really cool Empoleon and Tyranitar card. Uh, obviously Urshifu's. I'm excited about the Rainbow Victini VMAX personally, and there's a Krikatoon Full Art V that I want. Uh, and then the last thing I would say that's really solid is there's two Shiny cards that are really nice. Full Art Shiny Houndoom and Full Art Shiny Octillery. They're secret rares. So if you like Houndoom or Octillery, this is, this is the set for you. This is really cool. I don't know why they chose those two in particular, but I mean, I know that they're kind of like the mascots for the two like single strike rapid strike but um yeah there's a cheryl battle card which is really nice there's some good stuff in this set for sure i some people are saying they're not a fan of the set but i actually really think it's sick so i'm excited about it i'm excited about it Yeah, Urshifu's in the set. Yep. When will I do another video with Dan again? Um, I think Dan and I are going to do a pack battle on uh, Thursday. I think Thursday. Uh, we were talking this morning, and I think we're planning for Thursday as our next pack battle. No promises, though, because schedules can change, but I think that's tentatively what we're looking at. Uh, how do we do against the Raclanid? Mm, probably better than Garbodor. Uh, what we have up there, Kronk, is probably what we're going to have. 
What's up, Salt? Um, I can't really do much to him. I guess I'll just, do I coach? Ugh, I'll just, I guess I'll coach. This is rough. See you later, Brent. Have a nice day, man. Hey, good stuff, Infer. Enjoy it, man. Good luck. What is a secret rare? I can't tell you because it's a secret, bro. What's the best card in Shining Fates? Charizard. Driver's license, very, very nice. Hey, you sound tired, man. Yeah, man. Try reading Twitch chat for three hours. You'd be tired, too. <laughs> Crazy shiny boy, thanks for nine. What's going on? I actually saw <laughs> I actually saw this really funny clip and it was something the effect of like the guy was like Oh, you're tired? You're tired after a long day at work? Oh, that must be tough. What are you gonna do now? Get to relax on the couch? You get to eat a meal by yourself? Try having kids. You ain't tired until you got a kid, okay? Let me make this crystal clear. You are not tired until you have a kid. Alright? If you think you're tired now, you have no idea what tired is. All right? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Because I feel like it's so true. It really is. Like, I was someone who didn't have a kid at so for the most of my life. And, and I'll tell you that I thought I was tired. But now that I have a kid, you don't know tired until you have a kid. That's all I'm saying. Because the reality of it is... If you're tired after a long day of work, what happens? You get to just relax. You get to hang out. That's it. You're done. You just chill. You get to rejuvenate. If you're tired after a long day of work and you got a kid, guess what you got to do? You got to hang out with the kid. You got to take care of him. Which is a blessing in itself. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, you think you're tired with one kid? Try having two kids. Oh, he right, though. He right, though. That's why I only got one right now. Because I'm too tired to handle another. <laughs> It's so true though. It's so true. Oh man, that's funny It's so true it really is though it really is oh, That's funny So true You're about to have your third kid see listen my wife and I we have come to the conclusion that we never want to be outnumbered because once you have, right now, we outnumber the children, right? It's my wife, myself, and one child, Dallas. So we outnumber her. You know what I'm saying? The second we have two kids, the playing field is even at that point. All right? Then you can assign one parent to one kid at any time that you need to, right? So that's the thing. But then once you have three kids, you are outnumbered. And mutiny is a thing, you know? They could try to throw you overboard. You really don't know. You want to have strength in numbers to the best of your ability. <laughs> That's man to man, right? Three is zone coverage. Exactly. Smoke phase knows it. That's a football reference. You're, you're in zone coverage at that point, and we all know there's holes in the zone. You know? There's holes in the zone. So you got to be careful. I, yeah, I can't imagine, madam. I can't imagine. That's that's incredible. You're the oldest of seven. You're poor parents. Yeah. But I will say this. I'm of the belief. This may be an unpopular opinion. 
But I'm of the belief that children don't owe their parents anything. And that when parents try to flip the script and say, oh, I put a roof over your head. Oh, I put you through college. Oh, I took care of you. Yeah, that's what being a parent is. Welcome to doing your job and your responsibility when you decided to not rap it. Like, that's what being a parent is. Welcome to parenting. Good job. <laughs> I, I, that's how I feel. I genuinely feel that way. You know what I mean? I hope that my daughter grows up to love me and appreciate me and, and all that other stuff. And I'm sure she will because I plan to raise her to, to have a high level of respect and, and, and no care. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll love her. But I, I will never, ever, ever tell my daughter that she owes me something. For me supplying the requirements of being a parent. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. Like, it is my responsibility to do everything I can to give my child the best life I possibly can. That was the decision I made when I decided to have a child. Was to sacrifice my own desires to ensure that my child has the best life possible. That is what you do when you have a kid. So, I never understood the whole... Oh, I did this and this and this for you when parents pull that on their kids because I think that's a whole load of nonsense Just my two cents That's it Flutie, that's it you try to give your child a better life than you had that is that is the objective in my mind of This whole process like when you choose to have a kid you want them to have a better life than you had and you may have had a great life, but I, I, I would hope that your objective is to hopefully steer your child down a path and give them the opportunities for them to be happy and to have a better life. I know that my dad did that for, for me and my sister. I know he did that for sure. I know he sacrificed so much to try to give me a better life. Like, I get that. That's, And I'm so thankful for my dad for that every single day. He's a great guy, you know? So as a father myself, that is at the forefront of my objectives is to try to give my daughter every opportunity. I want to, if my daughter says to me, Daddy, I want to do dance lessons. I want to be able to give her dance lessons. I want her to go to dance class. If she says, Daddy, I want to learn to play the piano. I want to be able to give her a chance to play the piano. Maybe she doesn't like it. Maybe she tries it once and doesn't like it. But I wanted to give her every, I want every door that exists out there. I want it to be able to be open for her. That's all I want. I just want her to be able to, to have every opportunity possible. That is what I hope, you know? For sure, Jay Lair, for sure. How long have we been at this? About four months. I, that's an interesting thing, madam, and that's something that has come up in my life, whether or not my daughter is going to like Pokemon, and a lot of people ask me that question. And the reality of it is, like, if you told me I could look 10 years into the future and my daughter doesn't care about Pokemon, then that wouldn't honestly upset me. Like, I don't need other people in my life to enjoy Pokemon for me to enjoy it. I can enjoy it on my own. If my daughter ends up liking Pokemon, then she's going to be the youngest world champion in the, in the world. And you guys better be ready. If you guys got kids her age, you better watch out. Don't even bother competing because she's going to wreck you. Um, but if she doesn't like Pokemon, she doesn't like Pokemon. I, I, I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not going to force it down, like force her down that path. If she likes Digimon, then, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll see you later. I won't talk to her anymore. Um, that was a joke. Uh, no, but right now she actually really seems to like Pokemon. I think that, I think that there's a very high chance that she does end up liking it just because it's such a big part of our lives. Like there's a giant Pokeball beanbag plushie in my living room right now. Like Pokeballs are everywhere in my house, guys. Like she has so many Pokemon plushies. She knows so many Pokemon already. Like I think she's going to like it, but if she doesn't, then she doesn't. It, it's all good. I am, I'm going to be there. To support whatever you know if she wants to play softball if she wants to do dance if she wants to do gymnastics if she wants to do music i'll be there i'll be cheering around what about temtem 
I'll tell you what, it's actually kind of sad. I, I'm on the Temtem subreddit, and I saw a post on Temtem, the subreddit, asking about like the future of the game, like DLCs and things like that. And it was like a post from yesterday, and there was six comments on it. And it just made me really sad for Temtem, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, Temtem, they did it, right? Let's not feel bad for them. They sold like half a million copies of the game. I'm sure they did just fine. They had the backing for Kickstarter. They were really popular at one point. Even Ninja played Temtem at one point. I'm sure they, the people who made the game are, are going to be all right. You know what I mean? But the game certainly did not have the long-lasting impact that some people thought it would have. And that's not a knock on Temtem. I think initially people are going to compare it to Pokemon no matter what. That's... Anytime you have a monster catching game, it's going to get compared to Pokemon. Like, that's just what it is. But what it did make me think is that Pokemon has so much more security to it than I even initially thought. Now, listen, if you want someone to be a Pokemon, like, who's going to back Pokemon and believe in it, it's me, right? Like, this is what I do every single day. So, obviously, I believe in the franchise. But I think now I believe in the Pokemon franchise more than I ever have before. And I really do see it being around for another like 25 plus years. Like I really do because I ask myself, what are the ways that Pokemon drops the ball? Like what, what results in a, in a business like this not existing anymore? And I think of like the companies in my life that have gone out of business and it's like Sears and Blockbuster and things like that. But those are in the same space, right? We're talking about something that involves, it's like a video game franchise. So the worst case scenario is Pokemon comes out with a game, it doesn't do as well, and then they could just release another one and try to make it better, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't see how it flops. Like, how does Pokemon flop? You know what I mean? The only other instance is another company coming in and trying to do what Pokemon does and do it better, but like, I don't see that happening either. I don't see that happening either. I just, I don't know in my head how Pokemon goes anywhere in the next 25 years. The key is going to be engaging a younger audience. They need to ensure that they're getting young fans involved still. And they're doing that though. They're doing that. They have their Pokemon Kids TV. They have Pokemon Smile and Cafe Mix and all these little things for younger people. So they're clearly acknowledging and focusing on a younger audience as well. So as long as younger people still get into it, I don't see it going anywhere. And you have to realize that they're the biggest media franchise ever. Not even close. They're really that, they're the biggest ever. That's crazy. It's interesting, it's interesting. Like, I just I just don't know, I ask myself, you know what I mean? Like you see me, I buy these, um. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I buy some of these like vintage booster boxes and stuff and I buy them with the intention of opening them. But I ask myself like, you know, what's my risk here, right? Like, are, do I think that at some point some of these will be worth, like, you know, nothing instead of what I paid for them or whatever? And my gut says that I don't see that happening. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see that being the case. Like, I feel like they only get rarer, but I'm also biased, so I don't know. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Thank you, Captain Splash, for the 16 months. I have not actually, no. Let's see here. Hey, listen, man, I appreciate that you were on the Texas stream, bro, but spamming my chat is not fair to everyone else, man, so please don't spam. Thank you. No, 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 and no. Where do I get my Pokemon? In Sword and Shield. Hey, good stuff, Crit. Enjoy the polls, man. I hope you get great stuff. I think I have shinies turned off. Oh, my bad. Should I turn them back on? My bad. My bad. Forgot to turn shinies back on. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. We have them on our website, Memory. If you're looking for shining fates, we have them up on our website, guys. Exclamation point TCG. You can use code ADRIVE. What's up, Shao Khan? Shao Khan. Use my discount code. We also have battle styles pre-orders. Definitely use them battle style pre-orders. You got it, crit. I'm glad to hear that, man. Do, 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 
Did I get the Master Ball from the Pokemon Center? I did. I did indeed. Yeah, I snagged that one real quick. I bet it's going to be worth even more, Kappa, in the future. There was limited quantities, and there was only 5,000 of them. I think there was only 5,000 of those Pokeballs. The Master Ball. But yeah, I did get one. See you later, Bob Joe. Unfezant. Uh, what do we want here? Probably right side so we can get Talonflame. We'll get Ghost into Talonflame. I think it's Mimikyu. We have a pretty bad team. Exclamation point counter is Dan. See you later, Rose. Yeah, memory. Unfortunately, those days are probably not coming anytime soon. So that's unfortunately the reality of right now. Hey, PokeRab, good luck on your pulls. Good luck, good luck. I do like Hype Sauce Poe, but yeah, Shy Splash is the best. I don't think I can do anything to Klefki. Yeah, I really can't. Is he even, uh, probably not even worth me Dynamaxing. I like can't even really hit him. I'll just try to drop his special defense, I guess. Thank you, Mcaction. I'm glad to hear that. Right now, Gray, yes. And you know what? I don't see that really changing, man. That's the thing. I, I think a lot of people attribute this kind of online internet boom to the pandemic, and I think that has a lot to do with it. But now people are super hyper tuned into this, and. I think the reality of it is when you have limited quantity products that are going to go online, people are going to find a way to get them and they're going to find a way to get them and they're going to find a way to make a profit off of it. And whether you like it or not, that's just the reality of it. So unless unless the online retailers find a more effective way to limit their sales per customer or stop the botters or whatever it is, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tricky situation. Thank you so much, Memory. I hear my Dallas outside. Yeah, Shy Splash is out of stock. Hopefully gonna get a restock. Um, yeah, hopefully gonna get a restock in uh, a few more weeks. What's the word on getting the vaccine where I'm at? Last I saw, my age group for the vaccine should be approximately in May. They just rolled out to 5565 where I live. I believe it was 5565. Um, so I'm the 30 plus age group now. So I think I'm gonna be able to get my vaccine in May at this point. May is so far away still, but I mean, it's really not that far. Uh, no one I know in person, like none of my family is taking the vaccine. Um, I have a friend who I, like I have a, like a good friend of mine who got his, but he's in a different state. Um, so I, I really look forward to the day where I can get it though. And then start living my life a little bit, uh, you know, more normal, I guess, but um, yeah, I look forward to it, but honestly, I'm, I'm not like, there's people who should have it before me anyway. So I'm not rushing. Like when my time comes, my time comes. Um, so no, crit, not yet. I mean, I just sit home all day, so I'm pretty low risk anyway. So like I said, there's, there's other people who should get it before me. So. In Australia, the first group of jabs ended up being dosed incorrectly. They gave people the 4x the required dose. 
How does that happen? How does that happen? I almost like don't believe it. It tastes like coffee, madam. I think it's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Jonas? How's it going, man? What's up, Draco? They read the instructions upside down? Clearly. This is my longest shade. This is my longest. Uh, heart gold soul silver toy I guess so Aries Hey, what's up white wolf welcome to the live stream man. How you doing today? Thanks for tuning in man. good Robert sometimes switch like lags out with that but I broke the disguise we haven't done 700 raids we've done 699 raids <laughs> just a reminder um, there's four Venusaur V max boxes left guys at this price so if you're trying to pre-order the Venusaur VMAX box, if you want the VMAX Venusaur box, there's only four left. There was 11 left like uh, an hour ago, so they are going to go pretty soon. Exclamation point TCG, use code ADRIVE. These are pre-orders for Battle Styles. Comes out in about two and a half weeks. So if anyone's trying to get Battle Styles, I'm really looking forward to this set. It's going to be really epic. Um, there's going to be some great stuff in Battle Styles. They're slow in Canada. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how it like rolls out. Like I know PAX East in Massachusetts is supposed to be in June. But like how are they gonna do PAX East? Okay. How are they gonna do PAX East? Um if people don't have the vaccine. Like I don't who are you on the phone with? Nicole has a uh, student who is a big fan and said I should order setup. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah I, I i don't know how do you how are you supposed to go to pax east or any of these events like i'm not gonna go to an event um if i'm not vaccinated and everyone else is vaccinated that sounds like a terrible idea apparently my wife's friend's student likes my stream <laughs> Got the exclusive behind the scenes tour just now. Um, that's funny. Yeah, Peachy, I would say so, huh? Have you been to all the PAX conventions? Uh, I've been to PAX East a few times, like four times now. And I was planning to go to PAX East this year, but I just don't, I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. I want to go. I just don't see it. I thought the Pfizer shot, you only had to do one shot. I thought with Pfizer, it's a one shot. Or is that the... There's the Moderna vaccine, which is two. Is the Pfizer one? Pfizer is two. It's J and J that's one. It's 
J and J that's one. Got it. Got it. Is there a fourth vaccine in the running yet or no? It's okay, Draco. You don't have to do that, man. Thank you. Yeah, I got my I got Pfizer and J and J confused. AstraZeneca is testing now. For people who have the shot already, how do you feel? Like who the people who are like fully vaccinated now? Like what's your vibe? Like are you, are you just living your life? You still masking up when you go out? Like you just don't like you feel like you're good now. You don't have to stress anymore. Like is it a weight off your shoulders? Like what's the vibe? I would just imagine like I probably would still I would imagine you still wear your mask and everything. You just aren't stressed about it anymore. You know, there's like no stress. I do it on Twitter. I sell my cards on Twitter. You're just less stressed up. Like today, for example, I, I stopped inside a store to drop some stuff off. And like a dude like three feet from me coughed, bro. And like I tensed up and got like really anxious about it. <laughs> you know, like. Gwendolyn, thanks for the $5 tip. Good luck with getting your vaccine. Uh, sorry, monkey. I hope you feel better, buddy. Hey, thank you, Tomahawk. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, it makes me sketchy when someone coughs near you. It's like, ugh. Stay away. Stay away. I saw this clip. It was really funny. It was of this mom and her kid, and she's just like, Okay, son, I want you to say it with me. Allergies. Allergies. And the kid goes, COVID! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Or he said, Coronavirus? <laughs> Allergies. Coronavirus? Oh, man. When's WBE coming back? Uh, never. Whoa, Diego, what were you doing, Diego? Diego, Diego, listen, I don't know if you've been hanging out with Dora lately, but you need to understand that under no circumstances do you swap out your Porygon when we have a Starmie and whatever that other garbage tier Pokemon was on our team, okay? Because you have foul play. You do not swap, Diego, okay? Don't get it twisted. You do not swap, Diego. I know you tried to swap, and we're lucky that RNG Jesus was on our side. What's up, Jinjo? How's it going? Diego's like, Talon Flame, give me that. Nope. many smoke I mean intentionally only a few like accidentally quite a few but yeah WB's not coming back anytime soon man I'm gonna be real with you it's just it's just not on my list of things that I want to do right now sorry bud I understand that a lot of people like my draft league stuff and maybe one day but I just I'm just not feeling it man just not feeling it I don't want to do it and like not want to do it you know like do it because like once I start WBE I'm committed to it for months 
It's like, okay, the next four months of my life, I gotta do this. And like, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> so, that's kinda where I'm at right now, you know? It's kinda where I'm at right now. I'm like, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one. So, yeah. It's Phantasm. Nice burn. It's a big burn. I love how Starmie's only way to do anything is Dazzling Gleam. Like, that's how bad Starmie is in these raids. Yes, so when Dominant Pearl comes out, like a new game, if the battling is decent, then I can see us doing another WBE. But like, for me to do it right now, I'm just not really feeling it. Maybe this summer, but I wouldn't count on it at this point. That that part of my content career might be behind me. Icy Wind doesn't do anything because you can't drop its speed because of its ability Full Metal Body. And most likely, Cass. Yeah, my starter Pokemon is Krikatoon. So. Nice burn. Bacon, thanks for the five dollars. Says this is a two-parter. Did you like Overworld Shines and Let's Go? Yes. Do I think they will return to it personally? I mean, they did in oh Overworld Shiny specifically. Um, do I think they'll return to it? I think it's possible. Yeah, I think it's possible that they'll return to it for sure. I hope so. I hope so. I liked it. I did like it. I think in Sword and Shield it'd be a little busted though, because you would just see so many shinies all the time. Like you just ride around the wild area and you would see like five shinies every every like few bike steps. It'd be crazy. So. All right, number 699 for Solgaleo. Will it shine? <clears throat> no, no. Shiny Talon Flame! Ay, ay, ay. I've got like four shiny talent flames. So, do I have a shiny talent flame? Yes, I have like four in this game. Six shiny, though. I mean, I normally love this thing. It's a great shiny, but it's annoying that it's one off from the shiny that we wanted. Six ninety nine. Ay, ay, ay. Get those nature guesses going for Talonflame. I'm gonna guess that it is a lonely nature. It's an adamant nature with gale wings. Wait, that's really good. <laughs> adamant nature, gale wings. Yeah, that's really good. That's actually, it's competitive. It's done, it's competitive. I just bottle cap the HP and it's done. That's a really good uh, Talonflame actually. It's a very good Talonflame. That's a very good talent flame. It's done. I mean, you would you'd probably want to run Jolly more than Adamant, but like Adamant's really good too. I love Choice Banded Brave uh, Choice Banded Brave Bird Talent Flame is so good, dude. Choice Banded Brave Bird Talent Flame is where it's at. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Now you can have two shinies at the end. Yeah, of course you can have two shinies. All right. I got a couple packs for you guys. Let's do those. TCG openings. I really gotta. There we go. Got a couple packs on deck. We got these two packs on deck. So let's see what we got here. And we're 10 subs away from the next one. Why is it always the third slot? Eh, it's just by chance. Just by chance. All right, we got a Fuego Energy. Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Team Yell Towel, Cacnea, Shinx, Nickit, Rowlet, Trap Pinch, 
Gossifleur, and Ditto V. Ditto V. Is that good? No, absolutely not. Energy, Dartrix, Ball Guy, Team Yeltal, Yanma, Coughing, Morpico, Horsey, Spinarak. It's a shiny. What shiny? Oh, it's Eveltal! <laughs> and Boss's orders. I thought it was a shiny, but it's uh, amazing. Rare Eveltal. Very nice. Sweet stuff, guys. Well, we are going to do raid number 700 tomorrow, actually. And I will be back tomorrow with another awesome stream. Um, in the meantime, for those of you guys who are interested in picking up some TCG yourself, we do have the battle style pre-orders available right now at adrivetcg.com. So if you guys want to check that out, by all means. And thank you guys for being here today. What a wonderful stream it was. And I appreciate everyone hanging out with me and enjoying. We had some good pulls and some fun moments. And we got a shiny talent flame to end it. So can't be too upset with that. Again, if you want to snag those battle style pre-orders, I highly recommend it. The Venusaur VMAX box, the Blastoise box, those are up there. We just restocked Shining Fates. A lot of good stuff up there. If you haven't seen it yet, I posted a really cool video today talking about different forms that could happen in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So I'm going to hit you guys with that in the chat. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for another awesome stream. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. See you later, guys. Bye.